What did I see for you? Good. That was fantastic. I, I love that. That was beautiful. <laughs> uh, that, was, that was amazing. I love the music. Yes. More. Oh excellent. God, no. Oh no. Oh God, no. Why are there Kaizo blocks in our Mega Man? Good question. This Next barely question. Counts. This barely, barely counts as a Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is fantastic! Like, oh, that's beautiful. And, and yes, Kestrel, I wholeheartedly agree. Like, the the Storm Eagle music is fantastic. Yeah. Easy. Yep. Five's a good game. Mm. Uh, it's not a good game. I'm gonna stand by that. Five's a good game. The weapons aren't the greatest, but it's still a good game. Okay, the I'm just gonna tell you this like in, in the best way I know how I'm an Eskimo and you're selling me ice <laughs> <laughs> no, no you have to also remember I like bad things I, I'm yeah oh I could have said something <laughs> bad but I, I I don't think you would have let me live through it had I said what I was thinking uh -oh. and, and look I'll say it for posterity's sake but I don't mean this in any way shape or form so please uh -huh. don't murder me uh -huh. I was like, is that why you married your wife? Ooh. Okay. Uh, yeah, again, that look, coming. It, it was Ooh. a low blow, and I, I was like, no, if I say this, I'm a dead man. Yeah. Like, quite possibly. Yeah, I figured that was going to be the case. Can I make it with the adapter, though? Don't think so. No, you cannot. Probably no, won't coil that one. Yep. I don't know uh, if you can make it with coil, either. That's search. That's search. Oh, damn it. And I, you know, I just. And, and we even my... said it, my friend. We even oh, said it. Uh, that, that deserves a clip. Oh, God. Totally. You... Do you care? No! Well, <laughs> too bad, so sad. You might care later. Oh, don't tell me, Dad. Don't tell me shit like that. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no. I'm no. <laughs> All right, fuckers. I'm going to double tap a Santa once I steal that gun from that fucker. You know what? That's a good like. Um. Uh, oh shit! What's the word I'm looking for? Segue. Not even segue. It's just a, a recap. It's a good recap of where we're at. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, yes yeah. it is. Sankar can yeah. suck a gun and get his head blown off while he's at it. Uh, he, the golden uh, bullet for his head? Oi. Wrong yep. head? Oh god. Oh god, that's we not have all the terrible golden jokes. shower. Uh, oh no. Alright, well, yeah. yes, I want to resume. Yeah, welcome <laughs> to back, get away everybody, from this to the new game, Plays 999. We've gone through the, one of the nine doors, oh. one of them. Chase of Santa, and June, Ace, and Lotus, and now we're, we're looking for this whole mess. What a mess is it? Uh, welcome back to math. Oh yay, math. I touch My any of the nine subject. cells that aren't all, the all cells. When I touch a cell, the cell I touch and the one next to it change, so I just have to touch the right cells to make the all cells all green. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah, you remember uh, this? Yes, this is where I quit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God. Like, not only do you have to deal with the pattern, you have to math and math hard. Well, if I just keep clicking, else. if I keep clicking, it's eventually going to work, right? Um, you gotta remember the I mean, way the line has to be for you to be able to get green everywhere. The law of probability does state that sooner or later, randomly clicking will provide the solution. Yeah, something, something Shakespeare play and a hundred monkeys and typewriters. What? <laughs> oh, you don't know about that? No. <laughs> so, Somebody... the idea... Oh, sorry, go for it. 
the, 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 the saying is that if you put a thousand monkeys with a hundred typewriters inside of a room, they will write up a Shakespeare play. Eventually, Eventually, they're bound to write a Shakespeare play. Yeah. Just by the pure laws of probability. And chaos. The hint isn't a hint! It's a lie! Well, I hate this! <laughs> Okay, wait a sec. I think I have a way. <laughs> Just figure this shit out. Alright, paper. Uh, <laughs> wait, okay. Back to the notebook. What a great way to start the night. No! <laughs> We're already whipping out the, the paper. Paper gonna uh, go burn a fire. Chestful, we barely understood what you said. It's fine! <laughs> Special to eggies. Uh, oh, that is beautiful, beautiful. Right, for those watching, I uh, will also give you a reminder that this Saturday is April first, which I would like to call Salt Thirty, because we'll, <laughs> we'll be giving each other we'll be giving each other uh, some very salty games to play for one hour each. We don't know what it is, so welcome to the mystery and uh, be surprised with the rest of us and possibly curse each other for a little while. Just a little while. Just yeah, a little yeah. while. Uh, and for those who remember the last year here, this is where we found out that somebody can and will put Kaizo blocks in the Mega Man game. And uh, that uh, oh, yeah. uh, that Raven will make me not forgive me about giving him Mega Meme 2 on his computer. My oh, yeah. team is eternally cursed with that game. <laughs> I can't unreceive it, you I know. I can't unreceive it. I uh, mean, you, you can. Uh, oh, really? Please tell me how. No. I refuse. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. I can't like I know I can uninstall it. It's blacklisted. I, I can't see it in my list of games anymore, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist somewhere on my account. Uh, you're welcome. You're no welcome. Get fucked. <laughs> like again, I can never un have that from my fucking library. And it uh, again, me the hell off. Um, uh, again, I'm gonna say that uh, is inaccurate. No, no, okay, okay, okay. The fact that it has at one point existed in my library can never okay. be undone. That's fair. Is the point I'm getting at. Okay. Oh, hey. Uh, oh, so we just got the naked grandma, um, yeah. who <laughs> says, this game made me forever hate he uh, hexadecimal lol. Yeah, this yeah. is... This is mood right now. I tried brute forcing this puzzle because I hate it. Yep. But here uh, we are. Oh, okay. Here All right, we are. Here we are. Just uh, keep in mind the pattern that allows you to light up some parts in green. I know I know how to light them up. This has to equal 10, 21, 21, 10, 21, 21. I know which squares I need to light up if my But do you thing really is... need the math? Wait, what? Do you really need the math? That's a really good question. I thought I did. Do you only know when you get the correct result on the line? Look, they're a little bit green right now. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Interesting. Wait, what? You I mean, know that one F and five it equals L on the on the middle part. Well. Yes, because F is 15. If I get all those three, it should light up. Yeah, because it equals and if you 21. Get four, five, and C, you get the other L there? I don't even yes. tell to you. 
Yeah, because it equals 21. Right. I, I figured out the logic. I just need to not have the D show up or the B. Yep. I need. So, uh, the grandma uh, already says, I already hate these kinds of puzzles. Adds math and hexadecimal, and it becomes my mortal enemy. I to mean, be fair, right. that is true. It's just, you don't have to, you know, deal with it necessarily. Yeah, oh, I'm dealing with it. Yeah! Woohoo! Alright, that was maybe a bit loud. <laughs> No, no. Look, con considering me and Polka on the stream, no, that wasn't loud at all. <sighs> you did it, Junpei! You're so smart! I am not! You seem to have done an excellent job and solved the puzzle. Just what I would have expected of you, Junpei. Well, thankfully, you're not Junpei. So, you know. <laughs> Junpei's not as smart either. If we can really talk here. Hey, come on, you're embarrassing me. Whoa, whoa, don't get cocky, kid. We don't got time for that. Look at this. Check out the right edge on, of the control panel. The lid slid open and something came out. Is this really surprising at this part? Nope. Nope. The emblem of a cross. Interesting. You're feeling pretty cross after this one. <laughs> I will punch you next time I see you. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Do it, do it, do it, There's do it. There's a piece of paper in here. Not sure. Without taking a closer look, but I think it might be a clue. Junpei, we don't need this anymore, do we? No, I don't think so. Are you kidding me right now? What the fuck did you just pick up? Not that one. Oh. What is it? Nope. Oh. Oh, it's raining. Yeah, I, I uh, got that part. This wouldn't have helped. Yeah. Alright. Oh, fuck you, two cabinet. Oh, I need four of those. Cool. Well, now you know what happens here. Violence? Violence <laughs> needs to happen no, here. No, I don't want to touch that. <laughs> I mean, this is Kestrel after all. Oh, Shashby. <laughs> yes. I'm touching that. Oh, I just rolled my eyes hard enough to hurt my brain. Chunpei, it looks like there's a compass on here. What do you mean? I guess you weren't there, Clover, but I solved a puzzle like this one in the wheelhouse. I think I just need to do the same thing. I didn't keep that piece of paper! Yeah, the same thing? A map. Oh, I hope it's a different map or else it'll be very sad. The important part is this map. nautical table we just found. I just have to match up the direction on the compass with the lines on the nautical table. I used the steering wheel in the wheelhouse, but this time I think I'm just gonna use the wheel attached to this side here. Show me, now. Yes. <laughs> well, to be fair, Grandma, um, we've been, like, I, have we been putting this on YouTube or have we not? Yeah, I've been keeping it on YouTube. I've been putting every single episode we've got of this year over on our YouTube channel, which Nightbot should be showing in a few minutes. So, yeah, we've got a YouTube channel with the repository of the previous streams if you'd like to watch them, Grandma. And also... They are rather humorous and fun and amusing. They mm -hmm. absolutely are. Also, um, I would definitely ask that you uh, give us a follow, and if you can, also join our uh, Discord that uh, Nightbot just talked about. <laughs> We'd like to see you there. One more here. <laughs> And thank you for the follow! Thank you! Much, much appreciated! And hey, you know what? It's fair to completely forget to check Twitch. I, I feel that. I totally feel that. I feel that. that too. Oh. Something written on these pieces of paper. Looks like we've got three sheets of the stuff. Oh what no. Stuff? We gotta give three sheets. Force code! Hey, but there's your map. Yeah, but where's the start? I hope it's... That should be England. Yeah, that should be it. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, that... Alright. Now... It's the UK. And here... Then... You don't want to write that down? I am writing it down. I'm sorry I'm oh. slow. 
Uh, no, okay, look, you were saying it out loud, but I wasn't seeing you right, so that's why I asked. Don't mind me. Don't mind Out me. South, west, southwest. Play that funky That's music, South girl. <laughs> Don't ask. I never ask, and yet I'm still doomed. Correct. We're still here. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be real. I, I just want to talk about a bit of an experience I had. Um, a pipe. Last Saturday. A pipe. Too bad. There's a cutscene. Okay, go for the cutscene. A pipe. Well, they all fit a pipe. There are three pipes there. There are a bunch of idiots sometimes. Okay, you can go with your story. Um, so, we basically went to a surprise birthday party last Saturday. That's why we were not present. And, um... So... It felt very liberating to yell at someone, eat my ass, and to have the majority of the people there scream in cheers and happiness because I yelled that. Oh, wow. That, that silence was, uh, was a little <laughs> oppressive there. You're depressive. No, no, not depressive. I said oppressive. Same thing. No, Peter, depressive don't means Don't that you- no. Don't you, don't you dare. To, you don't want to get into <laughs> semantics? No. Not for a joke. Um... See, you guys still get Twitch notifications, I just muted the app. Alright, it didn't work. Clearly not. Are you sure you got everything right? You done goofed, girl. And when you go to that, you I believe press the hit button will show you the map. I like the hint button. I wish there was one in real life, because sometimes I just can't get the hint. Oh, that's not... Yeah. Wait. No, should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it pixelated so bad? I don't know. Good question. It, it, it pixelated in, sh in, the sh in shrinkage. Hmm. Also, I feel like right now, and previously when she was doing the hex puzzle, we should have had the Jeopardy music playing. And then no. we'd get copyrighted to heck. If you oh. think the Bayonetta music is bad, imagine Jeopardy. Okay, fair enough. Um, so, Kestrel? Mm -hmm. yeah. It should have been Southeast, not Southwest. In other words, you already messed up. Oof. Um, yeah, you're right, I wrote it wrong. What a mystery! You. you got it wrong when the game didn't react after you were done? What? Uh, no, that's... Yes, I know. Alright. Go west one time. Remember that one piece goes in the square hole. Oh, oh god, that fucking no. thing you said. The follow up. <laughs> that girl <laughs> lost her fucking mind. You can yeah. see. <sighs> like, everything dying in her eyes. Yes. But it you was... just don't see it coming. Nope. Yeah, you did it, Junpei. Good boy. Who's a good boy? <laughs> I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. <laughs> what? Hey, we don't have time for screwing around right now. Check out the right side of the monitor. It just kind of slid open and something came out. Oh, yeah. I heard a noise, too. You know that big box in the hall by the exit? 
I think it made a noise. Like something unlocking, you know? A noise, huh? Give me that. Oh. The exit. Old. No, no. Whoa, well, now we've got something on the screen at least. Huh? What is this? Wait a minute. I saw something like this when I figured out that Morse code puzzle back in the communications office. Uh, Morse code? It, it's funny that, like, all these puzzles, <clears throat> excuse me, are specifically ones that Junpei has already done. Technically, well, he's only done every single one of them. I was gonna say that's the whole point. No, no, okay. What I mean to say is, in this current route, all the puzzles. Well, yeah, because it's the true ending. Fine, I'll just shut up. I guess. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the dots on here looks like dits for Mars. How can you see that? That's Junpei speaking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just because the picture's there doesn't mean he's the one talking. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's all right. Right. Slip guy. Slap. A reminder that she once confused the character's picture for a window with the character behind the door. What? There's <laughs> one time where the image was of a door and the character's image, like right now, came up and you thought they were behind the door and that there was a window oh, on the oh. door. <laughs> I don't remember that. Maybe it's it's probably ha yeah. probably yeah. happened. Yeah. Anyway, there's two dots on the first line, fourth on the second, and one on the last. I'm afraid I don't understand. Well, perhaps you should give it a shot anyway. All right, I'll try. Before I do that, though, maybe I ought to run through the instructions. If I just tap the button, it'll enter a dit. If I hold the button down, it'll enter a da. Do dee da. Do dee da. Uh, Am I the only person who, when hearing the word "da," thought of the rabbits from like Rayman? No. It's... Exactly. God damn it! I need to finish that game. Shut up, Junpei! I swear to God. Which God? This is like Heck. Al at this point. I'm not Will sure what to... No, I, I think we're good. Well, what word am I supposed to enter there? Oh, while we're waiting for Kessel to figure this out. Um, Polk, I watched a video today that kind of blew my mind. Oh, um... I... Oh, here's a nutter coffin. Oh, hey, uh -huh. coffin. All ice. Oh no. Holy shit, the... that is pretty damn creepy. There's a coffin in there. A coffin. A coffin. Oh man, does Seven think? Yeah, he's all pale. He's thinking the same thing I am. No way, <laughs> could this be? I'm sorry, but what's going on? It's a coffin. I wonder if there's a vampire in it. And I guess Clover and Snake don't know the story. Man, I can't bring myself to tell him. Well, at any rate, let's have a look around. All ice. Ah, the two machines. Holy shit. Man, this is serious. Oh, let's open it, shall we? Clover, if you could give me a hand. But you already Number have three. one. I got it. Ready? Three, two, one. Ah! Huh. No luck. It doesn't seem to be ready to open. Why did we ask the, like, blind man and the child to open that coffin when we have seven? That's <laughs> your frozen face! You, you didn't ask them to open it, they just decided to try to open it. No, I'm just- rhetorical question here. Is that like a screwed shove or something? Yes, I believe it's locked in some other way. Hey Seven, you think you could open it up with your superhuman strength? You should have done that from the beginning! No, I- what's wrong? I think I'll just pass on this one, okay? What the heck? Very well, we'll just have to give up on the coffin for now. Let's look around the room a little more, shall we? Alice sleeps in a, salt, in a small chamber past the force of knowledge beneath the navel of the gigantic. Is that actually true? Dot dot you dot. Are past the, you are past the force of knowledge. I am. Yeah. Is that what I'm... Yeah, that wouldn't work. 
Yeah, it's... I'm just gonna write that down. Two, four, one. Yup, smart move. Yeah, but I... I don't know which... Like... You don't know what word that makes? Yeah. But why are you trying to make it into a word? Well, okay, I don't know which letter, or phrase, or sentence, or... I'm not sure what to enter in here. Well, uh, isn't it like two dots? Two, two dots, four dots, one dot? Oh, am I overthinking this hardcore? Yes, yes. I think so. You, you have not tried the simplest solution. That is staring you in the face. No. Oh. That didn't work. Okay. Alright, looks like there's more to it. Indeed. Um... Okay, so... Uh, wait a second, isn't there... I can't see the log right now? That sucks. There is another set of, uh, six letters that you just got recently. I uh, that's true, eh? Huh? Oh, I can't right now. Give me a sec. Just had a thought. Would you care to hear it? What am I saying? Of course you would. Do you recall the plane on the coffin? It has all, all eyes. eyes. Yeah. Yeah, but spell it out using the uh, the letters of the thing. Yes, you have to spell it out. Oh, okay. Okay, I think, mm, yeah. No, it does. It's two L's in all. May I remind uh, you? Oh, God. Yeah, like, don't <laughs> do the pattern, write the word. You might want to press resets first. How did I pass school? I don't know at times. Like, in moments like these where you overcomplicate your life to all hell, I don't But, okay, know. what I don't understand is the last one that has one. Just keep going. Yeah, but right now I have A L or Alice. Okay. I see. It seems you have solved the puzzle, John. But shut up. Excellent work. No. <laughs> the answer was ice. How did you know? All I had to do was listen to the sounds of the machine made. After that, it was a trivial matter to decode them. Ah, yes. I believe I heard a noise from somewhere on the right of the device after you solved the puzzle. It sounded rather like something sliding open. Do you see anything that could have made that noise? Yes, yeah, true. time! Ah, yes, one more thing. I heard a sound from behind the shutter. Perhaps the coffin is unlocked now. What? Oh, no. Oh, hey. Chip. No. Alright, time to go see the coffin. Wanna see a button right. kid? Nope, but here we are. Alright, fine, I'll open it. Okay, Junpei, you can do this. It's just a box. It's just a box. Holy shit, this is a coffin. There is going to be something horrible in there, I just know it. Okay, deep breaths. Here we go. Nothing. It's a ghost! Ha 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 ha. Oh man, there's nobody in there. I can't believe I was scared of something like that. What do you mean, nobody? Were you expecting someone to be in there? Uh, it's a long story. Ask Junpei about it sometime. 
Well, just like Seven said, there's nobody in there. There is something in there, though. Well, two somethings, actually. What is that? There are two things on the bottom of the coffin. Looks like we've got a plate with an emblem on it, and... The Neptune key! Yes, we finally found it! Now we can get through the hallway. That's correct, Clover, but we do... We do need to get out of this room first, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, let's get the hell out of here as quickly as possible. I don't have any objections to that. I don't think we'll use the Neptune key in this room. It's really important, though, so I'll keep it in my pocket for now. As far as this other thing goes... Coffin emblem. <laughs> Why is it a it's the next emblem? part of, like, Fire Emblem. Coffin emblem. So it's a Pokemon Fire Emblem crossover? Why Pokemon? Coffee! Oh, fuck sakes. <laughs> um, uh, look, I dislike Pokemon and I got that. So. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, I've put the emblems into the four indentation on the desk, but. Huh? Nothing's happening. You put one. Wait, what's Snake doing? I feel symbols engraved just above each indentation. On the upper left is the steering wheel symbol. The wheel cross. Mysterious circle. Waffle pattern. <laughs> it's engraved near the bottom right. Additionally, each symbol seems to have been given a number. Okay. Perhaps we need to insert the emblems in this order. That order, huh? Oh. Oh, whoops. Okay. You, you know, need to do the thing, honey. Oh, no. Don't oh, tell me there's a yeah, no. them. No! Oh, oh okay. well, now Come we've got something that. on the monitors, at least. What's that? Looks like some kind of puzzle. I wonder if these are the rules. Here, I'll read them to you. When you touch a numbered area, that area will be selected and it will turn blue to indicate this. Touching a number ball after selecting an area will cause that ball to be moved to that area. However, you cannot move the red ball. You can only move three to five balls into a single area. Press the check button once you have moved all of the balls except for the red ones, which you cannot move. The digital root of the balls in that area must match the number for that area. That's it. <laughs> Fuck my life. I still don't get it. Whatever, like they say, practice make perfects. Let's give it a shot. Don't you need practice <laughs> makes perfect. perfect? Okay, I mm -hmm. thought it was just a bad translation, but... <laughs> Alright, hey! Let's see, well, let's see you solve the next one, then you can make fun of me. <laughs> I, make I mean, fun if, of it was a bad trans if it was a bad translation, they're calling themselves out on it. Yep. At least. Oh. All right. Oh. Cool. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you put it there if you can't move it? Huh. Ah, that's actually pretty simple. That sh yeah. Fuck you, V. Uh. I'll give you a hint, you've done this once before already. Of course she has, but she hates math so much that she actively tries to forget. That's fair. I can't remember it! What I would remember you like what, I've I've, what I've done. Well, but when, like... when and if you would ever like know. hints. There you go. This is it, right? But nothing's happening. There are still three more indentations left empty. I imagine something will happen when they're all filled. Oh, it's gonna be... Doesn't that seem likely? Yes, it does. I just hate it. Uh, item. Take some lemon. The next one was the cross. Hey Junpei, something just showed up on the screen. This puzzle sure looks like a lot like the last one. Yeah, but there's more of those red balls you can't move. The numbers for each area are different too. Looks like it's got the same rules as the last one though. You sure you don't want to double check that? 
They'll be fine. If I get confused, I can just look at the screen over there, right? It's anyway. like hmm? none of them have ever played any kind of game with any kind of minimal progression of we introduce a puzzle. This puzzle is easy, so you learn the rules. Next puzzle is harder. Yeah, it sucks. Yep. Alright, and <laughs> Junpei again with the bad uh, quotes. Anyway, like they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. Let's give it a shot. Isn't that a picture is worth a thousand words? Hey, shut it. At least I'm trying, alright? Yeah, I feel that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, interesting. Hmm. Well, it's just one and nine are now not available. Well, they did mm -hmm. say. No, no, but it could have been like nine and six were not available. Oh, give it some time. <laughs> No. Ooh. Oh, look. Right, Grandma? I mean, they keep interacting you once in a while, say, hey, we don't have time to, like, you know, just arguing and shenanigans, but then this happens. I'd like to say that I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up dying arguing semantics. Yes. Just because I like being pedantic. So? I'm mathing! Shut up! Oh, well, look, mm. nothing was happening on screen, so how was Yeah, I because to... I'm writing my notebook! You know, I feel like we now need to have, like, a camera feed set up so we can see you no, writing. No, we really notebook. don't. Actually, no, I agree. We, we need a camera feed it's for your desk so we can watch the mapping work. unfurl. No. Because so then I'm going to feel like everyone's looking at me and I'm going to freeze. Nothing's going to happen. <laughs> to be fair, I'd watch that. So, uh, Raven, you're you're in charge of setting that up without her knowing next time. Hmm. Oh. No, that doesn't work. See, now I'm just wondering how much construction time would be necessary to drill through the concrete wall so I can hit it. Set up a hidden <laughs> game behind a poster. <laughs> and see, the worst part is I'm looking at, like, probably Kestrel's all-time favorite poster and wondering how upset she'd be if I drilled it. <laughs> oh, don't you fucking dare! <laughs> <laughs> yeah... Yeah, I mean, that's I why you move the poster and have her question why was that poster moved? No, no, but you misunderstand. If I'm going to put a hidden camera in a wall, I need a poster over it to be able to hide the camera you lens. Touch right? my covenant poster, you're dead. Well, there are more elaborate forms of suicide, so let's <laughs> see how that goes. That's awesome, Junpei. There's only two left now. You can do it. No, I can't. I hate to say that you have to, you're contractually obligated as, like, a player. Uh, I could just leave, like, get up and leave my desk. I'll just start playing. Hmm. Damn, this puzzle looks a lot like the last one. Looks like the same rules. Don't you think you should do- <sighs> This is the third time I've done this, I'll be fine. So this, um... If you can't think of anything clever, please don't strain yourself, you might hurt something. <laughs> I already hurt my brain years ago. Oh, shut up. Just give me a break, all right? I'll think of something. What? Oh, 7-7 seven, seven now. So close to lucky 7s. So... Uh, did they really be arguing semantics when you think they might die in a couple of hours? Uh, yes. At this point, I don't think they've got hours left. Oh, you're only seeing this now? Like, we were talking about that earlier. Yeah, oh, so the absolute they uh they absolutely should be arguing semantics because it is a coping mechanism for some people. Like mm, Spider Man yeah, with sarcasm. Exactly. It's why Peter Parker jokes when he fights. Yep. 
is stress relief and it will help keep you calm and focused. Excellent work, Junpei. You've got only one left. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You know you can't! Very nice, Joto. Toph. 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 Ah, yes. Toad, the blind... Toe. It's, uh, Toe, the blind bandit. This is the fourth <laughs> one. This puzzle looks a lot like the last couple. I think this is probably the last one. Once we solve this puzzle, I'm sure something will happen. Alright. I'll solve it in no time. Alright, eight and nine now. And we have... Two, four, five, seven... And eight. Hey, guess who's not here? I mean, a lot of people. But that's besides the point. <laughs> nope. Oh, that is really on the nose. Uh -huh. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, what? wow. What? Associate the numbers that are in red with the people missing. Oh. Yeah. The only one who's actually there that shouldn't be is... Uh, eight. Yeah. Eight. It's eight. Eight, eight. Lotus. yeah, Lotus. You said Clover, and it screwed me up so bad that I just, you know, couldn't even answer. Two is a vampire, four is our axe murderer, five is our protagonist, and seven is our amnesiac. Correct. And eight is grandma. Half naked grandma. <laughs> I mean, she really is half naked, so you know what? That really works. <laughs> Uh. You know what? We officially dedicate this episode to you, the naked grandma. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did it say? This combination of what? Will not open, not the, open door. the door. Oh. Hold on. What have you... Um... Eight, five... Well, the problem is that... I just don't get it, the rules. <laughs> yeah, it's three to five balls in a single area. Yeah. You so, have five I... balls! What no, it's not what... I... They come for you, bad boys. Bad what boys. I want to do, okay. I was gonna say, like, where's the thing? Oh, hold on. Would you mind filling the eight box with everything? No, I mean, yeah, bitch. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Look, that was my next idea. It was like, wait, if what if I total everything? Yeah, it makes eight. Cool. <laughs> Where did that noise come from? Underneath the keyboard? Way to go, Junpei. You answered all the questions. Damn, Junpei. Good job. Hey, did you hear something just now? Yes, I heard that as well. From the bottom left corner of the desk, I believe. Sweet baby Jesus, oh. bro. Oh, that's... Sure. That's all the people that were... In the original non-airy games. Yep. Yeah. Uh, sadly, <laughs> the digital root is probably going to be, like, just stuck in my brain for the rest of my life. Well, I guess what happens next two games. I was going to say, we are planning to play the sequel, and then, what, Zero Time Dilemma is the third one? Yep. So, I'm going to hate it for a little while longer. Look, I... I... To be honest, I am looking very much forward to the next two games. Oh, of yes! Of course. Oh, especially, the, me uh, the, the, especially, well, the first game of the series I played was the second one. Okay. And, you know, it's, it's odd. I think I played 999 last. So, I was right that he looked like 
uh, the number, the crazy guy that committed yeah, suicide. The number beginning. nine. Number yep. nine. A well, he actually he was murdered. Yeah, I mean yes, Ace pushed him in the right direction. Also, apparently Ace didn't recognize him because you know he lost his afro. <laughs> well, I think couldn't recognize well, his face. Oh yeah, I forgot about that for a moment. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so in the captain's quarters, uh, Snake's dead body, number nine, and then Ace. What the okay, you know what's hilarious though? Ace could not have recognized that the dead captain was the dude in the red suit. Well, no, because he can't recognize face. That's what we just said for number nine. I know, I know, but I'm just adding the extra, like, he would have seen the dead body and went, oh, there's a dead body here. Who the fuck is that? Yep. This man with a mustache on the right. He's the same guy we found murdered in the captain's quarters. He had the zero bracelet on his left arm. And the second man with the glasses and a doctor's coat. He's the ninth man. The one with bracelet number nine. He died after he went into door five. But this guy, the one in the striped suit. He's looking pretty handsome. Oh man. <laughs> That's Ace. I mean, it's young yeah, Joseph. It's yes, it's Ace. young Joseph. <laughs> you, you mean the guy that you hoped wasn't the villain? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone mm. shut up. I no still have that sound clip, you know. No! Watch it. But what does it mean? What is Ace doing in this picture? Not only Ace, the Ninth Man and Cap, too. And they look happy, like they knew each other well. Why? How? He looks like he needs to belong in a Pokemon game. Oh yeah, he is uh, absolutely yep. a Team Rocket executive. Yes. He's part of the Elite Four. How in the world are these four men connected? I can tell you. you. say Ace is in that picture? Yeah. It doesn't look like it was taken recently though. Ace, the Ninth Man, and Cap all look about ten years younger. Ah. So the Ninth Man and the man you found murdered in the Captain's quarters are also in the picture? Yeah. Is there anyone else? Or are there only three people in the picture? I'm afraid I can't see it. No, there's one more guy. Yeah, thank you for clarifying, but let's move on. He's got kind of long hair. He looks smart, but a little cold. He's the only one I don't recognize. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, because his face didn't exist anymore. What's the date of the photograph? It doesn't have one. Did you look on the back? The back? Yes, the reverse. The other side. <laughs> How many synonyms? <laughs> What the did you say? Thank oh. you for being specific. Huh. Praying for the success of the Nonary project with Nijisaki, Kubota, and Musashido. Huh. Then the four men in this picture were the organizers of the Nonary game nine years ago. Do they have the time to be smart asses right now? No, but the sass needs to come out. That means yep. Ace, uh -huh. the man, and Cap were all responsible for making it happen. But I feel like I should be more shocked about this. It's almost as if that's just how things were always supposed to be. Why? Why am I not surprised? Ace was the one in charge of the Nonary Project. But why? Why am I so calm? It's like I already knew. Yes. Ah, of course. <laughs> I understand now. Ace was the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceutical. He was the one who invented the game nine years ago. He was Gintaro Hongo. Ace is... Hongo? I had my suspicions from the beginning. Their voices were similar. Too similar to be a coincidence. I could never forget his voice. It was the voice of the devil. I couldn't be sure, though. After all, I had no way to check. I certainly couldn't ask him. I mean, you say he was the devil. You kind of look like a cultist right now. Yeah, but yeah. he does not know that. Not <laughs> aware true. he's wearing a, a, a real poncho oh. at this point. I mean, he is where he's aware he's wearing the poncho. He just does not know it looks religious. Yep. Even if I had known, however, I would never have told. Him. Zero made it quite clear what would have happened if I did. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. Huh? I didn't know that Ace was Hongo. Oh yes. I suppose you wouldn't have. Nine years ago, 
You were in Building Q in Nevada, but Hongo was in the Gigantic with us. I know. That's why I didn't know what Hongo looked like. But why? Why didn't you tell me? I mean, I'm your sister, right? You could have told me. I'm sorry. I apologize for keeping this from you. But if I'd told you, Clover, you would have told everyone else. And if you did, then I would have been forced to tell them about what happened nine years ago. I had to prevent that. <sighs> hey, Junpei. You think I could borrow that picture for a sec? Sure. Mm. Mm. Hongo Here we go. Kubota. Nijisaki. Are right, you gonna get some Musashida. memories? Yamamoto. Kubota. Nijisaki. Musashi. All right, you're gonna summon them if you say it a third time. Hongo <laughs> Kubota. Nijisaki Musashiro. All right, we're doomed. Hey, Seven. Well, do you? Shut it. Just, just be quiet. I'm this close to remembering. This speed the speed of the ah! Hongo Kubota Nijisaki Musashiro. You were a cop, I can tell you that. Cradle Pharmaceuticals Nonary Project. <gasps> shit. What? What's wrong? Holy shit, this is nuts. Um, what's nuts? I remember. Remember what? Everything. Everything? Yeah, yeah, I, I remember all of it. My memory's back. I, I remember what happened before I got snatched. What? Uh. <sighs> oh no. Let me tell you what happened. Uh, that's gonna be good. Like Snake said, Ace is Hongo from the right. The other three are Musashido, Nijisaki, and Kubota. Musashido was the man with the cash. Nijisaki was Hongo's right hand man. And Kubota developed the actual technical details of the experiments. How do you know all this? Come on, man. I told you. I finally got my memory back. No, that's not what I mean. I'm trying to ask you why you knew all this stuff in the first place, before you forgot it. You really want to know? Of course. Me too. Hmm. This is gonna take a while. Hell, it'll probably take me a good three days to tell you everything. But we don't got time. Well, we don't have yeah. three days. Exactly. Just give us the short version, alright? Short version, huh? Alright, fine. I'll give it a shot. No promises, though. Alright, TLDR, now! I'm a detective. It's a little awkward to say this about myself, but you could probably consider me a lone wolf type. I hold to my own code, because I think doing what's right is more important than doing what you're told. That's why I followed my gut that night. A slim lead brought me to the wharf. It was nine years ago. The wharf had been cold as fuck, and I could barely see squat. I was investigating a mess of kidnappings, all of them children. It all had one thing in common. A history of visits to one particular hospital. A hospital under the management of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. And my investigation had turned up evidence that Cradle had been involved in the kidnappings. After a little sweet talking, I managed to finally get a real lead from someone inside Cradle. He really is, Grandma. My source told yep. me this. Tonight, a ship is set to take the children to a large passenger liner docked offshore. So I headed to the wharf. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, ho, hold on a second there. The ship he was talking about. What? That voice? Boy, the, the person who gave him the tip was... It says man, but the voice was Junpei's. Yeah. But I'm too young, I feel, but whatever. We'll see. There's a bunch of movement near it. Men in black suits, many of them carrying large bags. The bags... There was something about the way they moved as they were carried. No doubt about it. There were human beings in those bags. I moved before I realized it. I came out of hiding with my gun already in my hand. Don't move. I felt metal touch the back of my head. Drop the gun. I could kill you right now. It'd be easy to get away with it too. Just tie an anchor to your feet and no one would find you for a week. You want the fish here would love a meal. He kept digging the cold metal thing into my skull. <sighs> there was nothing I could do. I did what he said and laid my gun on the ground. Then suddenly, there was a sharp pain in my neck. A needle, a drug. That was my last thought. My face hit cold concrete. I was out like a light after that. <clears throat> I woke up on a hard floor. Damn it. Shit, my head hurts. I did a quick once over of the room. Where am I? A small, shabby bed and dirty sink. We've been in that room. Privacy. I'd yep. seen it countless times as yep. a cop. 
I'm gonna you know, sell, he says huh? no privacy, but there it's is a dividing wall. The wall. There is. I was still pretty woozy, but I made my way over to it. I pushed and pulled on it, but... <clears throat> it won't open. Not like I expected much else. Oh, yeah, they'll be absolutely all be dead by the time he's done. Yep, mm -hmm. that's why, you know, when characters go back and, like, memories and the past and all that you don't you know that time just stops <laughs> was it uh in jojo's talking is a free action <laughs> yeah talking you know, is a free D &D. action D, D talking is a free no, no, no. action oh, no, I... jojo too they, they speak entire paragraphs and books before... like b between seconds of combat oh beautiful Threw that's why the joke uh, is times, talking is a free play. action yep <laughs> I knew it. I gave up and made my way back to the bed and sat down. Hmm. Huh. I sat there for a very, very long time. Who knows how long. Then, I heard a faint voice. The voice was far away. I couldn't understand what it was saying, but I could hear one. It was pretty high. Probably a little kid. Huh? No several i hear five or six maybe more where where are they coming from i pressed my ear to the wall and tried to listen through it no that's not it left it's coming from under the bed i hauled on the metal frame and flipped the thing over and there it was the bed had hidden an air vent under it the hole in the wall was covered by a metal grate. I dropped flat on the floor and peered through the grate. I couldn't see shit, but I knew it in my gut. This was where those voices were coming from. Hold up. Why are there kids here? But then what my inside man told me popped into my head. Yes? I'd just like to say that although he says he's a detective, he fucking looks gangsta as shit. Yep. Mm. He looks like he was made for Yakuza. He yeah, looks really. like... He looks like a cross between a gorilla and Kiryu. <laughs> yes, I agree. Tonight, a ship is set to take the children to a large passenger liner docked offshore. Is it Junpei? I don't think it is. Like, I feel like it is, but I might be wrong. I, we've heard that voice before, I feel. Yeah. And also, oh. at that point, uh, on that ship? Junpei would have been about, what, five? Exactly, that was my issue with that oh, theory. Oh shit, you're right. He's younger than I thought he was. Mm-hmm. Fucking five-year-old Jumpy having the knowledge telling him. Oh, oh, the deep voice. It didn't matter. All I it knew was I had to get to early. I checked out the metal grate. Hmm. Could I fit? I stuck my fingers in and grabbed it. And then... <laughs> I was a deep shit. <laughs> Bro, when you're in deep shit, you gotta shit deep, okay? Yeah. How do you uh, like that? You gotta force it through, I guess. Exactly. I finally got the damn thing off. Sweat was dripping down my face. So I wiped it off and crawled inside. You know, again, he's telling this story and he had to mention the detail of the sweat down his face. Mm -hmm. well, Remember, look, the guy that's happy to have his memory back, he's gotta use it. The TLDR is getting really fucking long. So, I I'm gonna say this, just looking at the First image there, there's no way he'll fit in that bench. Oh, no, yeah, no, absolutely just the wrong. shoulders. And yeah, <laughs> Grandma's saying the same thing. There's no way Seven's Massive Rave could possibly fit uh, in that dock. All the sweat was like there's a lubricant at that point. <laughs> See, I all, hate it. See, all I that, think but that only works if Seven's naked. <laughs> Naked? <laughs> naked. Look! <laughs> Big naked man in a tight space? Sounds like a good time to me. It wind up eventually, and there was space for me to crawl along on my hands and knees. I went from crawling like a worm in dirt to skittering like a bug. Couldn't say it was much better, but I'd take what I could get. And when I'd been in the thing long enough to start wondering where it'd take me... Mm. Oh, excuse me. A massive sound nearly scared the piss out of me. It was like a heavy Extra metal lube. door had just been slammed shut. Hmm? Well, he said he nearly uh, scared the piss out of him. Extra lube. Oh, God, then, no. Yes. There was a voice. 
Oh, we know what that means. Mm hmm So familiar! That's the other door. It's going for what? No burn I wasn't sure what it meant, but anything with incinerator is bad news. Then, almost as if that was a cue, I heard a messy young sounding voice. A bunch of them were straight up screaming in terror. And all the sounds together made a howl that made the hair on my neck stand straight up. Damn it! What the hell is going on here? I scrambled through the duct as fast as I could. I made a giant racket, but I didn't care at that point. I soon found a metal door on the left side of the duct. The kids were screaming on the other side. I found it. I yanked the handle and threw the door open. I almost ripped the metal off his hinges. What the... What the hell is this place? I couldn't believe what I saw. The room had a dome up top. There had to be about nine walls, all the same size. Up in the ceiling was an upside-down funnel, almost like a chimney. I looked down. There they were. The kids I'd been searching for. Alright, so I'm wondering if this is... Snake. It says... I looks like June. I was just about to say that looks like June. This looks like Santa. And that's probably Lotus's kid. Yup, which just leaves the nice. red one in the back, really. They all got up in me, suddenly silent. For the moment. From surprise and fear. Scared of the room or me, I couldn't tell. Probably both, actually. <laughs> Not like I can blame them running into a mug like this when they're already scared shitless. I mean, you acknowledge it, at least. Yeah, really. I snorted at my own dig at myself and turned to the kid. Don't worry, kids, I'm not your enemy. I'm one of the good guys. All of them stood there, frozen. Well, except one. He was a boy slightly older than the others, in a private school uniform. Yeah, he looks like Santa. Who the hell are you? He stepped forward. Yep, definitely Santa. Suspiciously. I'm a detective. I'm here to rescue you. It looked like they relaxed some the second I got the words out. How are you gonna help us? Where's the exit? There isn't one. The doors we came in through won't open, and the door over there... He kind of cut himself off. I think he was considering something before he changed his mind. Anyway, there's no point. We can't all get out of here. If we don't get out of here, we're gonna be burned to death. Burned to death? Can't you hear it? That voice said the incinerator's gonna start up soon. So... So... So soon. The voice spoke again. Incineration will begin in... Minutes. They only had 15 minutes. I looked back down at the kids. Looks like I did 20 or 30 feet to the floor. No way I could pull them up. Too big of a distance for any of us to reach. What the hell was I gonna do? But then I got an idea. Wait right there. I'm gonna be right back. What? Wh where is he going? Are, are you just gonna leave us here? They just got frightened again. I'm not the best at that kind of thing, but I tried to reassure them with a smile. Don't worry, all right? I'll be back. I promise. So just stay calm and wait right there. Got it? I didn't wait to hear them respond. It wasn't time. Then got stuck. I had to hurry. <laughs> the end. Oh. Well, as fast as a guy could on his hands and knees. Didn't take me long to get back to my cell. Are you gonna grab Still the no blanket? Way out of there, but I had a plan. I needed something from the room. When I got it, I dove back into the hole and took off towards the incinerator. So if he just went into the room, grabbed his thing, went back, why do we need to zoom on the toilet? It's a good question. Then, because it's a I'm very shitty situation. situation. <laughs> I tipped yeah. out the doorway and dropped down the rope I brought with me. Back in the cell, I torn the bed sheets into strips and tied them together to make a rope. It was sloppy, but it got the job done. All right, just tie that around yourself, okay? I'll pull you up one at a time. Right. Huh. Wait a sec. Something was off. There were more of you before. Where'd the rest of you go? The boy in the uniform answered. I let them go on ahead. We opened the number nine door and they left. What? You're telling me you opened that door? That's what I said. Then what the hell are you doing here? We couldn't go with them. Why not? Look, the only people who can go through the number door- He was in the middle of explaining when- Yeah, don't waste time. Yeah, that is points. Incineration will begin in five minutes. The wall shook a bit and the voice bouncing around. Look, that can wait, all right? Just get us out of here! Uh, right! I grabbed onto the rope. The first one I pulled up was a girl with a ponytail. Next was a girl with a red necktie. A boy in a jacket came after. He said he'd climb up on his own. The boy in the uniform was the last up. 
Like the other kid, he climbed up the rope himself. He looked pretty scrawny, but I guess he was stronger than he looked. He moved fast, but when he was almost to me, we heard some knocking. Everyone looked at the door. It had a thick, square window set into it. On the other side, an angry face was staring in. God damn it! No. What's going on here? Um... Pain oh. Ninth Man? Why is the room empty? No, that's Hongo. Where the hell are those fucking kids? Yeah, that's Ace. No. Oh. I didn't recognize the eye. Uh -huh. oh, really? The door opened, and a man stepped in looking half mad with fury. I recognized his face. I saw him many times in photos during my investigation. The man's name? was Gintaru Hongo, the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Hongo saw the boy hanging from the rope. Yeah! It was like he was an animal. He lunged for the rope. Oh my god! Holy shit! Uh... What exactly were they thinking when they put Seven on that ship anyways? Like, were they just hoping the kids would fall and they'd all sink on the ship? Sorry, fail Hail. and they'd all sink on the yeah. ship. <laughs> there it is. Uh... Yeah, no, I was wondering that myself, like, obviously he, they would have to know what the gigantic looked like, and if there was that crawl space under, like, come on, smarter than this. It, it was a moment of opportunity, bringing him along as they were leaving with the ship and bodies, after all, just stashing somewhere where they could reach otherwise. I suppose that's true. Hurry! I know! The boy in the uniform booked it up the rope. You son of a bitch! Get back here, you little shit! Fifteen feet. Ten. The second I could reach the kid, I grabbed it. I hauled him up and tossed him into the duck behind me. No! No! Jesus! Why not oh, kill him and there. dump the body? They had him at gunpoint anyways. Also true. Very Very true. lost it. His face didn't even look human. It was like the bastard pulled off his fake face. He was really a terrifying devil or some kind of damn monster. Yeah, uh, he scared me in the other ending. Quickly reeled in the yeah. air, leaving a furious Hongo yelling at me from the floor. You fucking bastard! You won't get away with this! How dare you compromise this experiment! Experiment? <coughs> what experiment? Incineration. I'm not the smartest and the dumbest criminals in the world here. Oh, I mean, yep. not wrong. To be fair. Oh, old man! What the hell are you doing? Hurry up! The boy in the uniform was trying to get my attention. I may have thrown a salute in the raging asshole's face before I closed the door behind me. Well, obviously you didn't to die there. Cell, so we went down the other direction instead. After about 30 feet, we came across another duct on the left. This one was heading down. Already nodded, and took turns sliding down it. The duct emptied us out into a narrow hallway. There was a door on either side. The one on the left was a normal double door. But the one on the right was familiar. Excuse me. Black and yellow stripes and a device next to it on the wall. That's a dead. Right on it read, incinerator. Incinerator? Oh. Yeah, that's where we were. It was the girl with the red tie who answered me. We were inside an incinerator? Yeah. Hongo might still be there. It looks like it's been shut off, though. Wait, what? If he's still in there? Yeah, that's not good. <sighs> that meant we better. We got to get out of here. Go to the other door. Hurry. The kids started running, and I was close on their heels. On the other side of the door was a large spiral staircase. Run! I didn't need to tell them twice. We went up and up, and our feet bound in the steps. Our arms pumping fast. We went round and round and round. The devil was on the tail. <sighs> the stairway kept going. We passed a couple of landings when the yep. the uniform suddenly mm -hmm. spoke. That, that's definitely snake. Yup. Yep. <laughs> Something's up. Akane's not catching up to us. Yup, it's yep. Akane. There you go. Mm -hmm. Akane? My kid's sister. The girl with the red necktie. What? Wait, what? No, wait. It's the kid in the uniform is, um... That's, um... Shit, Santa. Yeah, but he just yep. said my kid's sister. Yeah. Yep. He did just We gotta say keep that. moving, like... Kane. Kane. That's strange. 
I didn't remember seeing that name on the list of missing kids. Hey! Akane! He kept his hands around his mouth and yelled. <laughs> Nobody answered him. The boy in the uniform skidded to a stop. I stopped too. And so did the other two kids. When did we do that? Well, we passed a couple big rooms on the way here. Maybe she took a rest in one of them? No, that's impossible. Sorry, Grandpa. You keep going. I gotta go look for her downstairs. He turned to go. Hey, kid, wait! God damn it, I said wait! I don't think the kid even heard me. Fuck! I spun around to the boy in the jacket and the girl with the ponytail. I'm going after him. You two keep going, all right? You got it? The girl nodded and ran up the stairs. But the boy... I'm going with you. <sighs> I didn't have time to argue. I just nodded and took off down the stairs. I could hear him following. He ran all the way to the bottom floor, calling for her. Akane was nowhere to be found. God damn it, where the hell did she go? I could tell the kid was frustrated, and then suddenly... Help me! Somebody help me! We heard a girl's voice. Akane! The boy in the uniform threw open the door and leapt into the hallway by the incinerator. We rushed in after him. I couldn't for the life of me believe what we were seeing. That bastard Hongo had Akane by the arm. <laughs> that fucking face. Her into the incinerator. Mm -hmm. Yup. Come on, goddammit, move! No, I don't want to! Let me go, please! Let go of me! That looks like a five. Yeah, uh -huh. maybe a five or a beat squarely on the floor and was struggling to get away. But Hongo was bigger and stronger. Sorry, what did you want to say? Wasn't gonna so either a, a five or a six. No, there's no bar there. Ah. Uh. Uh, Akane! My brother roared with anger and charged toward Hongo. <laughs> Ah, you're too late, idiot! Hongo lifted Akane bodily into the drawer. He didn't fight him into the incinerator. Ah! Before we could even blink, Hongo had leapt through the door after her. We saw him land inside. And then, the door slammed shut. We ran to the door. We did everything we could think of to get the thing open. But... Goddamn thing won't move an inch! He started slamming his fists against the door. He was close to shattering his knuckles with how hard he pounded on it. Akane! Akane! Are you okay? You came back! Her voice was muffled, but all of us could hear the sheer terror in it. What did I do? I, I think I'm trapped in here. Where's Hongo? He went out the other door! W what? Warning. Warning. Emergency incineration command has been acknowledged. Automatic incineration will take place in 18 minutes. Please evacuate the incinerator immediately. Repeat. Emergency incineration command. Hey, you don't need to- Are you fucking kidding me? It's the same damn thing! Are you there? Yeah, we're here. Just hang on, alright? We're gonna figure out a way to save you! His words would have seemed like a sick joke to her if she'd been able to see how white and bloodless his face was right then. Incineration will begin in 17 minutes. Please! Please help me! I'm really, really scared! I don't want to die! Please! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! It's gonna be alright! Figure something out, I promise. I promise, okay? You hear me? I promise! I wonder if he lied about the kid sister thing. Because from what we remember uh, Snake saying, it was brother and sisters, but like one sibling one is, was in building Q while the other was in the gigantic. Right. So it would make sense for his sibling pair to be both in the ship. That is true, but uh, we'll have to see, because... It was torture listening to her sobbing on the yeah. other side of the door. <laughs> her brother was nearly crying himself. He could only stand there. Fists clenched so tight his knuckles were white. <sighs> <sighs> uh, what happened then? Come on, man. Put yourself in my shoes. It doesn't end good. You think I want to remember that? Then... Yeah. Shit. If I'd known it was gonna be like this, I almost wish I hadn't remembered. Hey, um, are you... are you sure? Huh? Look, I don't want to ask this either. But there's... there's something I don't get. <clears throat> so if you could just... 
Tell me, did that girl, Akane, really? Yeah, I'm sure. There wasn't anything we could do. After a while, the countdown ended, and we heard something burning. We... Ooh. The fire stopped, but we still didn't move. Me and the jacket kid were frozen. The boy in the uniform collapsed as if he couldn't hold himself up anymore. A few minutes passed. The door opened. The boy in the uniform tripped over his own feet running in. We followed, too numb to speak. The air in the incinerator was hot. Every breath made my lungs feel like they were on fire. It was like standing on hot asphalt. The air was wavering, and in the middle of the room, there it lay. The kid's legs were shaking so bad, I don't know how he managed to walk. I couldn't see his face, but his body somehow looked empty. Finally, he reached it. He fell to his knees as his legs gave out on him. And then... No, oh, please stop. <laughs> um, um, uh, can I ask you one more thing? What's that? The girl. Akane. What was her last name? What does it matter to you? Just, just tell me, okay? Please? Kurashiki. Her name was Akane Kurashiki. <laughs> yep. Yep. Was she yeah. replaced? That's something I'm you wondering that, right now. Were not you? The tall kid in the jacket. That was you, wasn't it? Yes, it was. You are correct, detective. Don't misunderstand me. I told you before how Zero threatened me. There was nothing I could do. I couldn't say anything about what happened nine years ago. So you're saying you're not working for Zero, right? Of course not. Clover, what about you? Hey, come on! You really think I'm working with Zero? I told you before, you idiot! I was in Nevada, in Building Q. I did hear that a detective rescued the kids on the boat, but I didn't know it was you. <laughs> well, I guess I believe you. All right, let me ask you another question. Santa's real name is Aoi Kurashiki. So it was her brother. He's Akane's brother. You know that? No! No, I didn't. Did you? Well, yes. I know Aoi Kurashiki was her brother, but I didn't know he was Santa. <clears throat> At least not from the beginning. Nine years ago, he was in the middle of puberty. His voice is entirely different now. I'm ashamed to say that even my exceptional hearing wasn't able to make that connection. As such, I had no reason to think Santa was Aoi. When did you figure it out? Clover told me that Santa might have been one of the subjects of the initial experiment. It was only a short while ago, while we were leaving the library. When she told me that, I had a... feeling. Santa is Aoi? Akane Kurashiki, June's brother? There's still a lot we don't know. I mean, like, a lot. But there is one thing I think we can say we know. What's that? The body we found in the shower room. It had to be Nijisaki, dressed up to look like Snake. What? Come on, man. What kind of detective are you? You didn't figure that out already? <laughs> the shade. Oof. Oof. Hey, Come on down there, easy, big guy. Man. I just got my memory back, all right? Got me some slack. Okay, hmm. fair point on that, though. Well, if he is, the three murders make sense then, don't they? Yeah, that's right. Murder. Kubota blew himself up, but that was murder too. So why did these murders take place? If Junpei is correct, and the body in the shower room was Nijisaki, that means all of the people who were murdered were involved with the creation of the Nonary Project. Kubota, the person who conducted the actual experiment. Nijisaki, Hongo's assistant. Musashido, the man who financed the project. You mean this was all just revenge? Santa is zero. He's getting revenge for the death of his sister. That's why he killed them. No, I, I don't think Santa actually murdered any. If I'm right, then it's not hard to figure out who the next victim's gonna be, is it? I'm pretty sure I don't have to tell you. Yes. Yep. Right. The next target will be Gintaro Hongo. The person who planned the Nonary Project. In other words, Ace. <laughs> what? what? What the hell's going on here? Maybe you spent too much time talking and you're sinking. It must be 6 a.m. Our time is up. Shit! Come on, we need to get out of here. How? 
I'm betting this sucker opens the exit. Come on, let's go. All right. Key card zero. zero. Woo! Oh, it's uh, uh, so big. Can I see? Thank you. So I think June really is zero. I have no idea, but I did say unreli unreliable. Uh, narrator. Narrator. Uh, all right, do, do, let's do, just swipe this do, card. Do, 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 do. So I'm gonna say all, this is all fantastic, knowing uh, quite a bit of the story. <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. I fucking bet it is. <laughs> <laughs> Junpei, look, it's unlocked. Yeah, now we can go back to the library. Hurry up, Junpei, we don't have time. Let's go! What? Why right, are we looking at Junpei? He wasn't the one talking. Uh, you found it! Congratulations! Right, I will be right back! Huh. Oh, I... Shaking stopped. Got an achievement? Fuck, I can't see it. Too bad. <laughs> but, and, okay, I'd like to say uh, I can finally comment on uh, Grandma's comment of the smartest and dumbest criminals in the world. Um, they're smart when they're emotionally Back stable. Yeah. And then they're dumb when they get fucking tilted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair. They had a plan. And then someone pissed in their plan. Uh -huh. You mean someone pissed, someone pissed in their Cheerios? Yes. Yes. See, I haven't been using Cheerios specifically, but like, at work, I've, like, whenever something goes wrong, like, like, unknowingly wrong when I'm merching in the morning, like, and if the, like, I'll be like, God damn it, someone just had to piss in my merch. Uh, Hulk, uh... I am back. Hey, welcome back. Oink. What are you doing now? There you go. Are we ready to continue? Um, yes, I suppose. It would seem so, but we are yet to be out of danger. You're right. Let's hurry. This exit needs the Uranus card, too. Hey, Junpei. Yeah, I know. All right, it's open. Let's go. Okay, Neptune Key, let's see if you work. Yes, oh, I think it unlocked. It says incinerator, so this is the incinerator. Um, <laughs> you really have to repeat that sentence. This is the first time I've seen it from this side, but yeah, I think so. Then there ought to be a lever near the door. Yeah, right here. Pull that and the door should open. Got it. Let's go. Really? We're going to enter the incinerator? Well, that's where door number nine is. Oh. What the hell is going on? Ace got the upper hand. What's e wrong? Yeah. Are you okay? Jumpy, you came to get me. Of course I did. I made a promise. I'm so glad you're here. So glad. Are you gonna die again? Hey, what happened to you? I'm fine. I just fainted. I wasn't feeling very good. I'm feeling a lot better now, though. Are you sure? Yes. I just need to rest a little longer. I'm I'm sure I'll be fine. You shouldn't worry about me. Santa. Hey, where is it? Where's the gun? You hide it somewhere? I don't have it. I got sucker punched and they took the gun. What? Who took it? What? Isn't that obvious? I took the gun. God damn it. Oh, well. That fucking face. I didn't want to see it again. Well, here we are again. <sighs> Just what the hell do you think you're doing, Ace? Or maybe I ought to say Gintaru Hongo, CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. You have me at a disadvantage. And I don't like that. You know me, but I don't know you. That face really is terrifying. Like, okay, Grandma, I don't know if you're a fan of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but the voice actor for Ace also does a major role in the series, and it's really freaky when you're a big JoJo's fan, and you keep hearing that voice in this fucker's, like, 
Yeah, it's, it's terrible. <laughs> Why you okay, bad guy, okay. Joseph? I need to bring this up because I have to here, and uh, you'll, I do have to apologize in advance, but for the last time, a little game plays. Nine, nine, nine. Oh, God damn it! no! I don't want Ace to be a bad guy. I like his voice too much. Oh my god, that, <laughs> that clip, that fucking clip. Hey, <laughs> why? All right, let's go, let's go. Do you have any idea how much I've suffered? Oh, you even kiss my to ass. My pain? <laughs> the pain of prosopagnosia, right? Hmm. Another irritating insect. And how do you know that? Hmm? Good question. <laughs> Junpei, like, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> no matter. If you don't want to answer, it makes no difference to me. This is a waste of time, anyway. It's time for me to go. First is one. Give me your hand. Eight. And with this... Zero. Nine. Oh, no, nine. The ninth man. Kubota's bracelet. I believe I've won this game. I've had quite a time playing with you. I must thank Zero, I suppose. Wait, what? Ace doesn't know who Zero is. Uh, uh, what the hell are you planning, Santa? At any rate, this game ends now. I will escape, and the rest of you will have a slightly less pleasant ending. I suggest you enjoy your final moments. Goodbye. Wait! Well, shit. What? Why isn't it opening? <sighs> One more time. <laughs> now open! No! I mean... What is this? He does Why? look like Joseph from the back there. <laughs> oh, God, he really does. I hate it. Ah, oh, beautiful. The digital route should be nine! It has to be nine! Then why? Why isn't it opening? Error. Doesn't no. have to be someone that's alive. The only thing I know this VA from is Kingdom Hearts. It's hard not to recognize, really. Wait, what? He did in Kingdom Hearts? Wait, what oh, VA my. in this game did in Kingdom Hearts? What? Uh, Which... What's the actor's name? Well, we'll wait for Grandma to answer back, and then we'll figure it out. In the meantime, please continue. All right. Fucking Hogan Punch! Oh. Oh. That was close. Too close. Thank you, Seven. Don't mention it. Oh, yeah! He oh, is my God, handsome. handsome. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Yeah, in the first game, you're right. Just one punch ain't enough for this piece of shit. What the what I did nine years ago, I ought to rip him to pieces. But if a suspect can't talk, they ain't much good. Once he's locked up in a cell, we're gonna have a little chat. Mmm, kinky. Nine years ago? Uh, then you must be... Yeah, you finally figured it out, dumbass. <sighs> Ace, you killed Kubota, Nijisaki, and Musashido, didn't you? Wait, Nijisaki? Oh, right. You don't know yet. All right, we'll just go through them in order then. Let's start off with <laughs> Kubota. You talked to Kubota and managed to convince him to go into door five alone. You killed him without making it look like you killed him. The way I figure it, you had four motives. One. In the Nonary game, the number nine is dangerous. Whoever had the nine bracelet could join whatever team they wanted. Adding nine to any number doesn't change the digital route, which means that number nine could do whatever they wanted. You wanted to remove that threat as soon as possible. Two, you wanted the number nine bracelet for yourself so that you could make use of its power. In fact, you did use it in the murder of Niji Saki. Three, even if his number hadn't been nine, Kubota was a problem. He knew your past. He knew what had happened nine years before. You needed to silence him before he told anyone. Four. But last, and perhaps the most disturbing, you used Kubota as a test. You wanted to know how serious this nonary game was. Was it truly life or death or simply a harmless prank? You convinced him to break the rules so you could see what would happen. 
That was why you killed Kubota. But he was only the first. Next was Nijisaki. While everyone was off looking for the missing parts for the Reds, you ran into Nijisaki near the big hospital room. However, because of your prosopagnosia, you didn't realize he was Nijisaki. Chiefly because, when you met him, he was dressed like Snake. That was why you thought Nijisaki was Snake. No, that that's not... That was Nijisaki? Why? How did... I'll get to that. Anyway, you thought he was Snake. Snake was one of the kids in your experiment nine years ago. You remembered him because he was the blind kid, but his presence made you think. Snake was one of my subjects nine years ago. He probably hates me. But if that's true, why isn't he saying anything? Is he keeping quiet because he can't see? Or perhaps he's working with Zero to get revenge on me. Whatever the reason, anyone who knows my past is a threat. Before he tries anything, I need to get rid of him. That was when you decided you had to kill him. The murder weapon was Kubota's bracelet. You just waved it over the red. Verified your own number and then grabbed Nijisaki's arm and forced it over the scanner panel. Then, when the door opened, you kicked him in. Nine seconds later, the door closed. And then 81 seconds passed. And poor Nijisaki was dead. Then you mean to say... Snake is still alive? Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm as good as new. <laughs> Minus your arm. Oof. Thank you well, for killing the wrong man. But I can't say I like knowing that you wanted me dead. Although, to be honest, even if you hadn't tried to kill me, I would still hate you very much. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't blame you. Last but not least, let's talk about Musa Shido's death. When Clover and I were investigating the chart room, you came over to talk to me. Do you remember what you said? Oh, a pocket watch. Might I take a look at it? I handed it to you, and you left the room. You had been in charge of the Nonary Project. Of course you would have known the solution to every puzzle, which would mean that you also knew how to get out of the wheelhouse. All you had to do was place the watch in the indentation on the door to unlock it. With the door open, you could enter the captain's quarters. Musashido was there. Conveniently placed next to him was an axe that practically begged you to kill him with. You picked up that axe and buried the blade deep in the other man's chest. One blow was all it took, and then you returned to the chart room as if nothing had happened. There was, there was, something, was something I wanted, I wanted to, speak to speak with you about, about Junpei. Junpei. Could, could you come, come with me for a moment? moment? I have a hard time believing an old guy like Ace would remember puzzle solutions from nine years ago. Yeah, especially he was only the, like, the CEO. He wasn't the one who built it up from the ground. I had no reason to say no, so I followed you to the wheelhouse. When we stepped inside, remember how you slipped your hand into my vest? You pulled out a piece of paper, the one I used to cheat during the vote. But that wasn't really what you were after. Your true purpose had been to slip the watch into my pocket. It wasn't a very good plan had way too many holes, and someone saying the wrong thing could have brought it all down around you. You must have been desperate, but what made you willing to risk it all to do it? Ace, Musashido's murder is the only one I don't understand. You obviously did it, but why? Probably because he thought it was zero in the captain's quarters? Because of this. What's with the paper? Just read it. Huh. Let's see. Number one. There are two ways you might survive this ordeal. Oh, he had a paper oh. of his own. The first is to win the nonary game. The second is for you to confess your sins of nine years past. I have prepared a camera in the captain's quarters. The images captured by that camera will be streamed through a satellite and distributed across the world. Simply look into the camera and repent. Once you have confessed everything, I will release you from this ship. To make your confession more credible, I have left you a witness in the captain's quarters. Perhaps he will confess with you. The decision is yours. Do as you please. Zero. Hmm. When I awoke in that room on D-Deck, I found that in my pocket. Hmm. That was why I chose door one when we voted. If I went through that door, I knew I could get to the captain's quarters. As you said, I knew how to enter the wheelhouse. My plan was to find the pocket watch before anyone else. If I could, then my alibi would be set. At least... That was the plan. Unfortunately for me, you got to it first. That sleight of hand was the best I could manage on short notice. You meant to kill him from the beginning then? 
Uh, Musashido, I mean. I only knew Musashido was the witness after I reached the captain's quarter. I asked him, and he answered. He seemed groggy. Perhaps he had only just awoken from sedation. I suppose Nijisaki was in much the same state. He seemed confused and disoriented when I encountered him. <sighs> but yes, you are correct. Oh yeah, would have been super awkward for you know, shit didn't happen didn't the way it did. Who he was. <laughs> I proceeded to the captain's quarters in order to remove this so-called witness. Ace, you figured it out, haven't you? You were being manipulated. Yes, so it would seem. I was little more than a puppet, in many ways. How does it feel, bitch? Right. Everywhere I went, everything was already prepared. The reds in the large hospital room were dismantled. Nijisaki was dressed like Snake. There was an axe in the captain's quarters. Musashido was delirious from the anesthetic, so he couldn't fight back. <sighs> Nijisaki as well. In retrospect, I can't understand how I could have fallen into such a simple trap. Because you couldn't, re like, recognize their faces. But yes. Yep. Yes. This was a trap. It was Zero's trap. And I fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. I did everything he wanted me to do. Yeah. By manipulating you, Zero was able to kill three people and keep the blood off his own hands. All of this was revenge for what happened nine years ago. That's why this nonary game happened. Am I right, Santa? Huh? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know any- Ain't no point trying to play dumb anymore, Santa. Actually, I guess I should call you Aoi Kurashiki, huh? My memory came back to me, kid. You're Aoi Kurashiki. No doubt about it. Never thought I'd be back in this room talking to you. <sighs> but hey, I guess this was all part of your plan, right? After all, the person who planned the nonary game this time around was Zero. And Zero's you. <laughs> Looks like you really do have your memories back, huh? Well, I guess there's no point in hiding it then, huh? Yeah, Oh you shit. got me. I'm Aoi Kurishiki. I was one of the kids in the nonary game nine years ago. I made it out. So did Snake over there. But there's one thing... No, I, I guess there's two things you got wrong. Number one, I ain't zero. Um, okay. What? Grandma, Sorry. I do agree with you uh, that, yes, on a purely legal basis, um, zero would actually be charged with something uh, called conspiracy yeah, to commit but murder. Considering what Ace did, would anyone rat him out? Rat oh, yeah, no. <laughs> like, zero, like, if we're talking, like, purely, would people rat him out? No, I don't think they would. But now, you know, Santa just said, he's not zero. Yep. Wait, what? Sure, I was helping Zero out, but I'm really more of an assistant, like a secretary. But an assistant's only an assistant. I didn't come up with all this. All I did was follow Zero's orders. Then, if you're not Zero, who is? Calm down there, Junpei. <laughs> didn't I say two things? You made one more mistake, Junpei. You just said all of this was revenge for what happened nine years ago. That's why this nonary game happened. But that's not it. Revenge isn't the only purpose. There's another reason you guys were playing the nonary game. <laughs> to save someone. <laughs> save someone? Right. You were brought here to help my sister, to save Akane. What the hell are you talking about? Akane Kurashiki died nine years ago in this room. I was there. I saw... Uh... What did what? you see, Junpei? The hell? Uh, Where's... seven, I mean. Where is she? Where's Akane Kurashiki? Ugh! Oh! My head! Oh, my head! I mean, the corpse wouldn't be there yes, nine years bomb. later. Seven! What the hell is going on? I don't know. I don't know, I just... Oh! I swear to God, my head feels like it's about to explode! What was the Nonary Project? I'm sure you know already, but I'll tell you one more time. It was a project designed to test a particular phenomenon. And what was that phenomenon? For two organisms to communicate with one another in the absence of physical contact. The morphogenetic field theory. Could human beings use these invisible fields to exchange information? That was what this experiment was conducted to determine. <sighs> there were two separate locations. One was the gigantic, and the other was a building in Nevada called Building Q. The nine children trapped in Building Q were faced with numerous puzzles, copies of identical ones on the gigantic. They were told to send their answers into the morphic field set and transmit them to their brothers and sisters on the gigantic. 
The transmitters were put in building Q, and the receivers were put on the gigantic. Each sibling pair was supposed to be split up, but, but, there was a mistake. Akane was a transmitter. She should have been in building Q. However, for some reason, she was placed on the gigantic with the receivers, like me. Perhaps she was mistaken for someone who was supposed to be in group A. Whatever the case, Akane ended up on the gigantic. <sighs> I think I've told you enough. You get it, don't you? I'm pretty sure you know where this is going, Junpei. Where what is going? Don't play dumb. You know things you shouldn't. Things you couldn't. Oh, do I have a sibling somewhere else? <laughs> How did you know Ace oh. had prosopagnosia? How did you know why Ace wanted to kill Kubota and how Nijisaki was killed? Like, are our other playthroughs in this, like, building in Nevada? Were you surprised when you found out Ace was Hongo? And what about the coffin Snake was trapped in? How the hell did you open it? Well, that's... He knew because I knew. Junpei was receiving information that I sent him through that more fixed field set. It's simple, really. How do I know the alternate futures, then? Imagine a river that splits in two, like an upside-down Y. The river flows from the top of to the bottom, from a single stream into two branches. It only flows in one direction. It can never flow backward. Information is the same way. It moves from the past to the future, but never flows backward. That's why people at the river source in the past will never know about those downstreams in the future. But the people downstream will never know about one another either. Information only flows along the path of the river. But I am different. I can manipulate the morphic field set to pluck knowledge from the future. I know what happens on either fork of the river. Yeah, because we're on the, you know, game. Uh, I'm sure whoever was responsible for that screw up was fired or killed. <laughs> Probably killed. Killed. Even though the people on either fork know nothing about one another. Now, who am I? I am I, the ninth letter of the alphabet. Is, is that ten? Or zero, I mean, I am also zero. And that's not true, I'm not really zero. Not yet? Perhaps you could say I am less than zero? Zero is my future? In nine years, I will be zero? Oh god, yep, what? I, can't, I think Akane is zero. Well, where did she go? June, no, Akane, where did you go? Santa! Why is Clover... oh shit. Freeze. Santa's got the gun. <laughs> oh <laughs> That's boy. Bad. Guess he picked it up when we weren't watching. Looks like he's turned the tables on Ace, though. Wonder how he likes having a gun to his head. Get up. Sure isn't about to take the gun off of him for a minute, is he? Ace isn't putting any kind of fight. I mean, I don't think I would either, but he just looks drained. I guess he's going for the door, huh? He doesn't need to verify to go through that door, but... Hey, what's your plan, Santa? What are you doing? <laughs> he can't get through any numbered doors with just two people. What the hell is he thinking? Didn't I tell you? I'm Santa Claus. It's time for me to go make a wish come true. That's it? That's all he's gonna give us? What the hell does that even mean? Shit, they're out. Well... And now the gate's shut. Looks like the rest of us are stuck in here. They're all looking at me. At least Seven's headache is gone. He seems to be alright. Well, I guess there's no harm in trying. Let's see if this door still opens. Damn. Well, it looks like this door isn't opening anytime soon. Oh, you mean we're trapped? So it would seem. What the hell is Santa trying to do? Incinerate us? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what? Have you considered where we are? There can really only be one thing Santa would do now. No. No, you can't be serious. <laughs> oh, but he is. Shit, we're gonna do something. Maybe we can still get out through door number nine. There's the red. Yeah, all right, we can do this. I just gotta... No, it's not gonna work. There's no way. The five of us can't open this door. Is there any combination that'll work? Junpei, can I borrow your pen and notebook? Again, Clover with the math. Uh-huh. 
She knows sure, why not? She's got notebook power. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to need them ever again. Well, she certainly looks purposeful. Looks like she's writing equations. A lot of them. Oh man, she doesn't look very happy. But hey, no need to be ripping pages out like that. Jeez. What the hell are you doing, Clover? Give me that! Alright, at least puzzle. Seven got it away from her. Maybe now I can get a look at what she was writing. Let's see. Nothing's working. <sighs> oh, everything except June. To which, where's um, June? It also uh, June that's Lotus that's missing, not June. Oh! oh yeah. I mean, June is also missing. But she's missing, missing. Missing, missing. <laughs> what? Missing, missing. And there's no other way? Lotus. Looks like she's figured it out, though. Man, this is just too it's cruel. Okay. Go. Lotus. Come on, you know we can't do that. Oh, don't give me that. I'm sure you'd love to get rid of me. God damn it, you idiot! Whoa, where the hell did that come from? Looks like she expected that about as much as I did. Without... Uh, if you're not... Look, it'd be bad, all right? For a cop, he sure doesn't have much confidence. Uh, yeah. Uh, if there weren't assholes like you around, I'd be out of a job. <laughs> that's that's Ooh, your pet that talk. Is. I mean, we're about to be incinerated. Wasted paper is the least of your worries. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah, really. Look, I'm just not leaving you behind, all right? End of story. Seven. He's right. I'm not leaving you either. Me too. You didn't honestly think I'd abandon you, did you? Uh, you're all idiots. I guess not as you want, Lotus. We can all see you're about to cry. That being said, however, however, I doubt we would be able to open the door anyway, even if we were to leave Lotus behind. Huh? Why? I trust you remember what happened to Ace? I couldn't, uh, see exactly what happened, but I was able to guess what he was attempting to do earlier at the red. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't working. No! What is this? Why? <laughs> I really hope hostage negotiators shouldn't be in this future. The digital room yeah, really. should be nine! It has to be nine! Then why? Why isn't it opening? Just to see. Why don't we give it a shot? Give it a shot? Yes, that is what I said. Wasn't the boat sinking, like, I don't know, an hour ago? Right. Or at least that's what they assumed was happening. Error. You were right. It ain't opening. But it did open nine years ago. The digital route was nine then, I'm sure of it. You think maybe they changed the settings? Perhaps. Everyone put their hand? Shit. We can't get through the door, we can't get out. The walls are way too high, there's no way in hell we could get to the whole seven popped out of nine years ago. All we can do is stand here and stare at this door with a nine on it. I guess this is it. This is the end. Akane vision? Yep. Oh. Yep, Akane is zero. zero yep. yep. I will also add one little extra details that we're not getting here. Because of the that fact that we were on Steam, in the original the game was on the DS, and most of the story was on the top screen, except is... when you were on the Akane's side. It was on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, Damn, that's oh. a good. That is a good detail. Yeah. I oh, was yeah. watching. I had watched everything that was reflected in his eyes. I was listening. Every sound that vibrated in his eardrums I heard. Smell, taste, touch. I felt everything he felt. I knew. I knew everything about him. What he was thinking, what he was feeling, what he was sensing. All of his feelings and worries and fears became mine. My mind, my consciousness was inside him. I <laughs> can't even press this. So the morphic field set, we were resonant and we were as one. I was him and at the same time I was an observer. It started with a tremendous noise like a clap of thunder. That was approximately nine hours ago. A bomb had gone off on the ship we were on. 
That was when my resonance with him began. My resonance even melted into him and we became one, inside of Junpei. Somehow I found myself in Junpei's mind nine years in the future. But I didn't lose myself. I was living in two realities at once. Is that why she fainted once in a while? Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, yeah, the original DS version had its good points, but it was also a bit annoying to navigate compared to the PC version. Yeah. Well, in a previous stream... Well, charts. Yeah, uh, Polk was telling us in a previous stream how the lack of a flowchart really made it difficult to figure shit out at times. Well, figure, figure out the true ending. Uh-huh. Yeah. Alright, one was the present, the other was the future. Perhaps you can think of it as two movies showing on the same screen at the same time. Eventually, it becomes difficult to separate them and determine which movie is which. However, if I concentrated, I was able to focus on one or the other. That was why I was able to grasp what was happening in front of me. Come on, over here! Uh, that was my brother Eoi. He was yelling. I followed him. Around me were seven other children. They all looked like they were about my age. Come on, hurry up! We ran down long stair straight hallway and burst into the large hospital room. Everyone was arguing. Two of the boys got in a fist fight. A girl watching them began to cry. I want to go home, she cried. I want to go home. Another girl slapped the crying girl and glared down at her. It had been two hours since the non area game began. We were starting to fall apart. But just when all hope seemed lost, light started talking. Oh no, death note! Oh ah. shit! He was blind. Oh. Nine years later, we would call him Snake. Hello? Everyone? Could you come over here for a moment? He was older than most of us and his voice had authority and dignity. The fights died down and gathered around him. I have a little sister. She is very important to me. Right now, she is over in Building Q and is desperately trying to send information over to me. Her name is Clover, and today is her ninth birthday. As he spoke, he pulled something from his pocket. In his hands were nine four-leaf clovers. Aw, oh, that's where Santa got it. Yep. I was going to give these to her as a birthday present. I was outside picking them when I was abducted. I'm sure I've already told you, but I am blind. For a man who can't see, collecting nine of a very specific plant is... Well, it is difficult, but my sister means a great deal to me. And I hope that these would show her how much I cared for her. Since it's her ninth birthday, I thought nine four-leaf clovers would be appropriate. I've never seen a four-leaf clover in my, like, life. How did you find nine? Every one of you uh, has a brother or a sister in Building Q with Clover. Yes, B? So, I, I want to say they're not as rare as they're made out to, to be. But yeah. they are uncommon. They're a genetic defect. Right. But I've never seen one. <laughs> For their rare. sake, we have to survive. We have to get off this ship. Do you understand? If we're going to do that, there are three things you have to remember. We need trust and love, and we have to have faith in one another. If we can take all three of those to heart, then I promise that good luck will come our way. Did you know that the leaves on the four-leaf clover mean faith, trust, love, and luck? Those words are leaf words. <laughs> Ultimate luck. So if you believe what I've told yeah. you, and you understand, then I want you each to have one of these. They're a promise between friends. He gave a clover to each of us. I took one too. Eventually, he was left with only a single four-leaf clover. He had one last thing to say. Now, don't ever forget. So long as you have that, we will always be connected. Do you understand? When he finished, the tension of only a few minutes, a minutes before was gone. We were calm. After that, we ran around the ship for a while longer and opened several of the numbered doors until we finally found a door with the number 9 on it. In fact, there were two doors with number 9 on them, and we found them in the chapel. 
We split into two groups and walk through the doors. Before long, we all found ourselves in a room with a ceiling that looked like an upside-down funnel. For some reason, this room had it under number 9, but this time it was the only one. But if there was only one door, that meant only five people could escape. What are we gonna do? There aren't any other doors! We began to panic. Then, as if things had not gotten bad enough already... The incinerator. My brother I always swallowed hard and answered. I think it means this room is gonna burn. Burn! The plaque on the door says incinerator, and that voice said that burn, the incineration burn, is burn. about to start. And incinerate means to burn. No! Help me! Abject terror filled the room, and as, as everyone began to scream and cry, every pair of eyes were filled with despair. Then, high up on the wall, a door opened and a man appeared. He was a huge, frightening mountain of a man, as large as a bear. Nine years later, we would call him Seven. Don't worry, kids. I'm not your enemy. I'm one of the good guys. I'm a detective. I'm here to rescue you. The rest happened just like Seven had said it did. The four of us who had stayed behind were saved by Seven. We crawled through the vent away from the incinerator and slid down into the hall. We came out on the other side of door nine. On the wall opposite the door was a set of double doors. We went through those and began to run up the spiral stairs. As we ran, I led the way. Behind me were Nona, my brother Aoi, Snake, and Seven. The other children, the ones who'd gone through door number nine before us, were up ahead. I could hear them cheering each other on. We ran and ran and ran. We leapt across as many stairs as we could and kept running. The stairs spiraled on upward like a tornado. Eventually, I pulled ahead of the rest. Perhaps Nona had slowed them down. I didn't want to lose them, so I slowed down as well. I didn't stop, but I glanced over my shoulder from time to time to see if they had caught up. That was when I realized... Oh, where is it? Did I drop Jumpy's present? Ah, so Jumpy is still... I knew I had it with me when we passed through the vent. Then, had it... Had I dropped it as we slid out? I had to go back. I had to. But I knew I couldn't tell the others. They would stop me. I was sure of that. I didn't stop to think. I simply moved. I ran to the central hall, the room that connected to all the other areas of the ship. I hid in the shadows, and moments later I felt a rush of wind as they ran past me, up the staircase. I waited until they were out of sight, and then I ran. I moved as quietly as I could, down and down and down. Finally, I reached the bottom deck. I ran into the hallway and looked around frantically. There it is! It was just where I thought it would be, sitting under the opening of the vent. I ran over and snatched it from the floor, but as I ran back towards the stairs and freedom... That's where Ace showed up. Oh. The door to the incinerator opened and a man stepped out. It was Hongo. Gentaro Hongo. Nine years later, we would call him Ace. Ah, oh, how wonderful to see you decided to come back. His smile made my blood run cold. It looked mechanical, as if someone had simply pulled up the corners of his mouth. Come with me. We must continue the experiment. I shook my head, eyes wide. Slowly, I began to walk backwards. One step, two steps. Three step. Cha cha, real smooth. <laughs> then I spun around and broke into a run. I felt Hongo's hand close over my left wrist. I said, Come with me. There was a edge of insanity to his voice now. I pulled as hard as I could. No, stop! Let go of me! Let go! 
I shook my body and flailed my arms, trying desperately to get Hongo to let go of me. But I was still only a child. I was no match for a man like Hongo. Stop struggling, goddammit! Do as I tell Stop you! Stop struggling! Ah, uh, uh, Soul Calibur. Yeah, just don't don't tell Ace that, you know, it was a failure from the start. Just just don't. Don't think his insanity could take it. Yeah, probably not. He heaved on my arm, trying to pull me into the incinerator. I screamed. Help me! Somebody help me! Then suddenly... Akane! The door to the stairs flew open, and my brother Aoi burst out of it. Behind him came Seven and Snake. Akane! He cried my name again as he leapt toward Hongo. You came back! I cried out. But then... Ah. You're too late, idiot! Hongo threw his full weight against my arm, pulling us both into the incinerator. Ah! The force of it threw me to the floor. I scrambled to my feet and looked toward the open number 9 door. Hongo stood between it and me, but behind him I could see my brother, his fists clenched. But those fists never reached Hongo. With the cold, heartless screech of metal on metal, the door slammed shut. Hongo glanced at me mechanically. Mechanically? Mechana. Yeah. His face registering that there was an object there, but not anything he would consider a human being. Then he turned away and walked to the red that sat next to the door. He reached into his pocket and removed two bracelets. He waved them both over the scanner panel. Two asterisks appeared on the red. He checked the screen, then tossed the bracelets carelessly on the floor. What was he doing? What was the point? He made no effort to explain himself, of course. He said nothing at all and walked past me as I thought I were nothing more than a rock by the roadside. A few moments later... The two other doors slid shut as well. Faintly, I could hear someone pounding on the door behind me. I turned around and ran toward the door with number nine. Akane! Akane! Are you okay? I could hear a voice from the other side of the door. A worried, frightened voice. Help me! My throat was already raw, but I screamed as loud as I could. My voice echoed lo lonely around the empty room. What should I do? I, I think I'm trapped in here! Where's Hongo? What? Then it started again. Warning. Warning. Emergency incineration command has been... Yes, yes. Incineration will begin in... Junpei vision. 18 minutes. Oh. Please evacuate the incinerator. Holy shit. Man, I knew what it was going to say, but that one is... But that is one hell of a creepy voice. I knew it. Uh, it's starting. Santa started the incinerator. Fuck! Man, I never thought I'd hear that damn voice again after nine years! What the hell? What. The. Hell! What in God's name are you talking about? It's nine years this and nine years that, and when it's not nine years something, then you're talking about some sort of fucking experiments! You aren't making any sense! Yeah, she's the only one out of the loop at this point. She really oh, is. Yeah. Poor Lotus. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, Lotus, but we really don't have time to explain it right now. Yeah, we can go for another hour of this. <laughs> I promise. I'll tell you everything once we get out of here. But... Incineration will begin in 17 minutes. You know what that means, right? Incinerate means burn! Uh, what kind of idiot do you think I am? I know what incinerate means. Burn to the ground! No! <laughs> Bad! <laughs> Junpei <laughs> being the sensible one here for once. God damn it! Okay, okay, fine! I won't ask anything else. Talk about whatever you want. But you have to do something for me. Seven, figure this out. Okay, not me, not Clover, not Snake. Seven, you figure it out. What? Why me? Just shut up and stop this thing! How the hell? There has to be some sort of emergency <laughs> shut-off button. There isn't anything like that. How the hell do you know? Because I looked for it nine years ago. Yeah, Lotus isn't happy about that. Can't really blame her. Wait. The floor. No. It's moving. 
What? Oh. Oh no. What else can I say about it? But what the hell is that? Hold <laughs> the words right in my mouth. Hey, Akane. <laughs> what is that? What else could I say? The floor opened and a machine rose up out of it. It looked like a computer. At least it kind of did. There was a monitor, a keyboard, and a cross-shaped device of some kind. Something about the machine scared me, but I forced myself to walk up to it. I was terrified. Tears poured down my face. I wiped them off even as more took their place and forced myself forward. Finally, I reached it. I looked at the screen. It was blank. All I saw was my own frightened face staring back at me from the glass, drenched in tears. Oh. All I can see on the screen is a reflection of my own face. I'm looking kind of freaked out. I know I'm sweating like crazy, but seeing it kind of drives it home. Okay, Junpei, calm down, all right? Everything's going to be okay. Yeah, man, I wish that thing would just shut up. Incineration will begin in 15 minutes. So, Polk. When you mentioned the, the differences between the DS, it, it's been a long time since I played it. But yeah. right now in this specific scene, you had Junpei on the top screen and Akane in the bottom screen at the same time, right? Yep, I do. Oh, uh, that's something that's lost a bit. Yeah, uh -huh. that's definitely lost. It's the same, but the media just doesn't have that. Yeah. It would have needed to do like a split screen of some they, kind. They could have they could have done a split screen. That is true. That is true. Then they would have pushed a point home. Mm -hmm. All right, back to this thing. If it's only showing up now, then it's got to be important. But what the hell am I supposed to do with it? Hmm. Hey, move! Hey, we're all tense, lady. That doesn't mean you get to shove people around. Okay, it's turned on. There's nothing on the screen, though. Wait, if... Are we going to save... No, it only flows down... Backwards. Just the play the game. Bad. This is really <laughs> bad. If there's nothing on here, how are we supposed to do anything with it? Sure, I'll just push buttons. I'm sure it'll. All right, we're playing Scrabble. Uh huh. Well, at least it's on now. What on? What's on the screen though? What is this? What's up? It looks like some sort of puzzle. It's got a bunch of numbers and letters scattered across a five by five grid. The numbers range from one to eight. Do you think that if we solve this puzzle, the incinerator will stop? Yeah. Well, we can help, right? All right, puzzle. How do you work? Oh man, that got him voice again. <laughs> Incineration will begin in 13 minutes. Shit, 13 minutes. Can we really do this? My heart feels like it's gonna pop. My heart was that. My heart was pounding like it was about to explode. I stared at the puzzle on the screen. I was sure I had to solve it somehow, but I had no idea how. My connection to Jumpy had been gone for a while. His mind was gone. I couldn't get any more information from him. It was Sudoku. I hate how they oversimplified this puzzle in the PC version, lol. Huh. Yep. Wow. Yep, in the original it's what Sudoku. Maybe there are too, mo too many complaints. <laughs> I would have liked Sudoku. <laughs> I felt the seconds tick by as I stared at the screen completely lost. My cheeks felt hot as tears poured over them. Then I heard a voice. Hey, what are you doing? It was muffled. I turned around. Pressed against the window in the entry door was a face, a frightened evil face. It was Hongo. How long had he been watching me? Ah, don't know what to do. He was yelling, but his voice was still muffled. It's simple, really. But I suppose I might as well tell you. Just solve the puzzle on that machine. <laughs> You're an ass. His laughter, laughter was muffled by the door, but it, was, but it still tore at my heart like the claws of a vicious monster. I bit my lip and glared at Hongo, struggling to hold back hot tears. You're a terrible person! I hate you! Oh my, how could you call a gentleman such as myself a terrible person? That's not very nice. I'm quite fair. I don't use tricks or play dirty. Yes, you fucking do. You see? I've even left you a way out. A way out? 
Didn't you hear me? All you have to do is solve that puzzle. Do that, and you can stop the incinerator. What's the point of stopping it? You'll only capture me and make me do this all again. I'm not going to listen to you. If you're just going to throw me back in here, I might as well just die now. My goodness, haven't you listened to anything I've said? I told you, I'm a fair man. Huh? If you solve the puzzle, the verification function of the red will in turn activate. If this experiment is to deliver valid results, there must be a chance of success. If you succeed, you will escape. The verification function of the red? Then I remembered. Before Hong left the room, he had scanned two bracelets into the red. Ah, so you do remember. Right now there are two numbers in the red. The first is one, and the second is three. Say, Akane, what's your number? Five. I looked down at my left hand. The face on my bracelet showed a five. I ran to the door with the nine on it. I grabbed the red and put my hand against the scanner panel. You really aren't one for listening, are you? I hear Hongu's muffled voice from across the room. I've already told you, didn't I? Once you solve the puzzle, the verification function of the red will activate. In other words, if you haven't solved the puzzle, you can't enter your number. What kind of fool are you? A panicked one! Why? <laughs> Why are you doing this? You could never understand. You don't know what it's like to spend every day surrounded by monkeys. Maybe you need different friends. <laughs> now, yeah, really. Experiment. Solve the puzzle. I can't. I don't know how. Of course you don't. Isn't that the point? You understand, don't you? Access the morphogenetic field and find a solution. I can't. Then you'll die. You'll burn alive. <laughs> it's going to be quite hot in there in a few minutes. I imagine it will be very painful. <laughs> <laughs> his horrible laugh echoed across the room, and even after his face disappeared from the window, I could hear it. Incineration will begin in ten minutes. Shut up, GLaDOS. I was crying, great gulping sobs broken by hiccups that shook my body. I was terrified. I could feel my f I could feel my fear pressing down on me like a tremendous weight. Somehow I forced my shaking legs to carry me back to the device. I stared at the monitor. I can't. I just can't. There's no th there's no way. I can't figure this out. What was I going to do? I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't even know where to start. Fear scattered my thoughts and all I could think of was why was how I was going to die. My palms were sweating and my blood was boiling in my veins. It was hot, so hot, I couldn't breathe. I felt dizzy. My heart roared in my chest as if it would pound itself to pieces. That fucking sound! PTSD from AI! Yup. I reached into my pocket. I wrapped my hand around the thing I'd come back to get. The doll jumpy had given me. At least I had that. I held it tight with both hands and prayed. Help me! Jumpy! Help me! Help me! Help me! Jumpy! 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 Please! Help me! Jumpy! Akane? Akane? Who the hell is Akane? Shut up! Just shut the hell up! Seven and Lotus don't understand. I think Clover and Snake have an idea, though. Clover's looking at me, and I think Snake may have figured it out. No, it doesn't matter. They're in my way. Where'd she go? Maybe over here. Akane! Akane! Can you hear me? Akane! Say something! Fuck. Did something break our connection? I swear I just heard her. Shit. Akane! Answer me! Akane! Jumpy! I spun around. I heard a voice. His voice. I looked around. He wasn't in the room, of course. But I'd heard it so clearly. Like he was right there. Jumpy! I screamed as loud as I could. Akane! Jumpy! That's her, she's there. 
then that means Akane, Akane. Are you in an incinerator right now? Yes, I am. How? How did you know? I couldn't believe that he knew that. Now I understand what Santa meant. Right. There's only one way to help her. You were brought here to help my sister, to save Akane. I think I get it now. Oh, shut up. Seven minutes. Chubby, we don't have time! As quickly as I could, I told him that I had to solve the puzzle in order to stop the incinerator. Got it! And I do. I get everything now. At last, I finally understand what all of this means. I know why the Nonary game was held today. I know why we were kidnapped and brought here. It was all for this moment. All of this was planned out to lead to this one moment. Oh my god. This is, this is insane. I, I can't believe it, but there's only one possible answer. June is... Zero is... Akane Kurashiki. She recreated the history of the future that she had a glimpse of nine years ago. She tried to save herself that way nine years ago. No, she's trying to save herself right now. That means that there's only one thing for me to do. Even if this is all some sort of insane plan, I will save her. I will save Akane Kuroshiki. I must save her no matter what. Incineration will begin in... Six minutes. The voice reminded me of how much time I had left. Jumpy! Yeah, I know! Just hang on, alright? I promise I'll get yeah. you out of there. I'm not gonna let you die. I promise. It so and don't worry, to be fair, right? just give me a few minutes, okay? Um, I'd like to say that so far, I also have an issue with the plot and how it's using the this information traveling through time thing because there's a logic flaw, and I want to just I'll, I'll keep it to myself. Can until... we not ruin it while I'm going through it? Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna keep it for later. I just want to point out that I feel like there is something. But Anyways, we'll have a round on. table afterwards. Yep. Don't worry, alright? Yes. Okay. okay. My voice shook as I answered. It was hot in the room. It felt like my heart was on fire. Six minutes or not, my heart burned with my feelings for him. Alright, time to get to work, Junpei. Is Snake talking to them about something? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Get out of my way. Hey, what are you- Just trust me, okay? Sorry, Lotus, I didn't mean to snap, but there's a lot more at stake here than your pride. I'll apologize later, alright? Now let's have a look at this thing. We've got numbers all over this grid. I think the panels are out of order. So I just need to switch these out? Staring at it isn't going to accomplish anything. I'll just have to try it. <sighs> Think of what I did all those times before. I'm gonna do this on my own, with my own mind. I'm gonna solve this problem. With your own mind, eh? Well, we'll come to the final showdown! Alright, I'm assuming I can't move one. Okay. What the fuck am I supposed to do? That that's a good question. Sorry, what? what? Did you just click. When I press him, numbers appeared in the empty spots on the grid. They're all single digits. I get the feeling the numbers change when I switch out the yellow squares. This square at the bottom. Why does it stay blank when I press hint? Oh, oh. Pressing the button again makes the numbers disappear. Looks like I can turn them on and off. Then, is there some special meaning to there being two modes? What could it mean? <coughs> I don't fucking know, man. Do I have to make it all nines? That's a really good question. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, you can't change that number or else the number below it's not gonna be 9 anymore. But how is it 9? Good question. I have no fucking clue. Would you like a hint? We're already using the hint. <laughs> right, as much as you can. Uh... Shut up! Mm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can you not move anything for a hot second? Yep, okay, I figured it out, we're good. <laughs> good for you, then. Mm -hmm. Right enough, it's because of you I figured it out, so thank you. Oh. Da, 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 da. I mean, this puzzle really is the root of all the problems. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'll admit I am a bit of a bastard, but I'm sorry. I mean, just a little bit. Oh, okay, it's... It's all the surrounding numbers. <coughs> you know, I know what the answer is from my own playthrough, but I can't say I know how the numbers in the grid relate, lol. Uh-huh. Same. Really? Same. Wait, Well, are you... nine is the digital room of all those four numbers. Yep. Five, six, seven, so seven in here. Yup. Ah, oh, Yukami! <laughs> oh, hey, Yukami! Um, uh, I'd just like to say, love, that I did say this problem was the... the I knew it was a root problem. <laughs> uh, I still hate math. <laughs> yup. So obviously the letters have values, so it's just Do a they? question of, well, yeah, because when you, how else would you solve the puzzle? Yeah, they do. That is a good question. Yeah, you know, if the original puzzle from the DLC Sudoku, I, I missed that already. Yep. I'd fucking rather if, like a Sudoku right now. Look, it was like the time when Sudoku was extremely popular too, so... It Ah, uh, that's hilarious. And you know, 9 by 9 by 9! Yes! Yep. And, um... Grandma's saying, it doesn't help that I also still can't grasp hexadecimal and that the letters are throwing me off, I think. <laughs> That problem? The problem is that it's not hexadecimal here because there's letters beyond F. Yep. Honestly, I have a theory about what the letters are, and a bit of experimentation would probably prove my theory. Well, A is one, so it's probably just the alphabet. Yep, it's the alphabet, just straight up. Alright, well, if it's the alphabet straight up, that helps provide the roots. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. If A is 1 and D is 4, then you know that D is basically number 4. <laughs> if 1 is A and D is 4, obviously D is 4. Do you know how, like, Little useful that was? Like, well, you're saying it doesn't help, but I'm telling you... It doesn't help me math! <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay, fair. D4, dark dreams don't die. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> the Twinnies oh. dreams from distance, after all. I was just thinking of that! <laughs> <sighs> 
It, you know, there, there's a thing I noticed, but I don't know if it's relative, so I can't, I don't know if I should say it. Oh yeah, Jumpy should absolutely be dead by now with how we're progressing on the launch. Shut up! Well, you have 17 I minutes, so... I would have been dead in the fucking first room, alright? Yeah, not wrong. <laughs> I admit it. Do we Wait, the front the they're all nines. Flooded? They're all nines. Why is this not doing something? Oh. So it is hexadecimal. Or... I need to replace the letters with numbers. Huh? <laughs> Polk, I sent you a message in Discord. Now it's not. <laughs> now it's not what? Funny. Oh. I have a question. Is there the possibility. Burns. Well, Kestrel. Yes. Is there a possibility of replacing all the numbers that are currently in the grid with letters that match the number? Well, no, you have W. Kestrel? 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 But I'm just gonna say, look at the letters. Yes. I mean that. I feel like there's a yeah, word there. Do, do English. Last word. So reorder the letters in the word password. While still having all the nines? So, give me a fucking Sudoku, man! I wanna cry! <laughs> oh. Well, wait, can't you just switch directly from the bottom row to, like, without that? Probably. Having... It just... And... Math. Why do you need to math? What okay. is P again? Hey, Kestrel, quick question. Can yes. you click on P, then click on W? No, I need to go through the fucking grid. So, like... See? Oh, you I have didn't to realize... Seven. Yeah, I complicated my life. Yes, you did. <laughs> As always! You want to know the, the, <laughs> the extra bit on this here? That if you go from the start and just sweep out the letters for password, the solution is right there. Oof. Oof. So what's the password? Uh, yeah! Um... Yeah! I'm pretty sure the password is password. Huh? I'm putting a password now, then. Are there any hints? What the hell am I supposed to put here? Uh, no. Yeah, I was gonna say that one doesn't make sense, but... The screen appeared after I solved the last puzzle. Maybe the hint was in that one? Uh, maybe <laughs> Nonary? Hmm. 
the puzzle, the answer ended up being password. And after it was an extra space, the knife square, maybe that's the password. The digital root of password? Wait, what was, what was in the ninth space? Oh, there was nothing, just hit enter. No, okay. Okay. Unfortunate. How about the number nine? Yes, that's it. Akane, did you get it? Yes, I did. I solved it. I mean, really, you solved it for me, but I copied everything you did. And now I just have to press enter. Then what the hell are you waiting for? Push it. Okay, I will. I hit the enter key. Emergency shutdown command has been confirmed. Incineration system has been disabled. Hey. Tears rolled down my face as I cried out to him, but they were a different sort of tears. A wonderful feeling of accomplishment and relief flooded my body. At the same time, what strength I had left disappeared and I collapsed to the floor. For a while I just lay there, laughing and crying and enjoying being alive. Every time I thought about him, I thought my heart would burst. Whew. I can't quite believe I did that, but I am so glad, so glad. I I feel like my heart's on fire. Is R still going? No, I don't have time to be thinking about that kind of shit. I need to tell Akane. Akane, sorry, but things are kind of busy over here. I'm gonna have to hang up now, okay? Hang up. Oh, of course, that's fine. I wiped the tears from my eyes and nodded vigorously, even though I knew he couldn't see me. Then I looked over at the corner of the floor. There were the two bracelets Honko had left behind. Now. Well, Seven Lotus don't look particularly happy with me. Not a very nice look to give to someone who just saved your lives, guys. Junpei, are you... Okay? Ah, shut it. Right, okay, so maybe they have a reason to be pissed off. So what if I haven't pressed the enter key yet? All right, nothing holding me back now. Here goes. Wait. Incineration will begin in 90 seconds. <coughs> mm. <gasps> it doesn't sound like it's stopping. <sighs> what the shit? Why isn't it stopping? Okay, maybe it didn't hit the key hard enough. Just hit it again yeah. and again Percussive and again. Okay, that's not working either. The alarm's still going off. What the hell's going on? I've got all the right numbers in the right boxes. It's perfect. So why the fuck isn't this thing stopping? Incineration will begin 60 seconds. Wait, of course. That's what the numbers sh that showed up after the puzzle mean. Snake, Clover, Me, Seven, Lotus. Then door nine. No, that's it. That number on the door isn't a nine. It's not even a number. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door. That holy shit, of course. Then we just have to put the right number into the red and incineration will begin in 30 seconds. Run guys! Get to the door! Run! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. We don't have time. Man, I sure hope they can just trust me on this one or we are all fucked. Alright, no time to explain, just Quick, go. Verify your numbers on the red. Verify? Who? What combination? All of us! We all need to verify! Why? You really think this is a good time to ask questions? Just do it! Hurry, 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 hurry. Incineration will begin in 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, <laughs> 2. Central gate has been opened. Incineration system has been disabled. 
dearest final test persistence. <laughs> yeah, really. Now is when you guys start questioning things. Oh, yeah, thank really. fucking Christ. No, no time to be happy. Time to go. Yes, Junbei, that's probably yes. the smartest thing you've ever said. Yeah. Hurry! We've only got nine seconds before the door closes. Go, go, go! Here's the line again. Come on, guys, move it. Okay, they're all through. Move it, Junpei. Closes in front of you. Just in time. Uh, find the dead, because I guess the countdown is there. And there goes the door. No, don't calm down yet. You're not done. We are still gotta find the dead. Fucking <laughs> snake's hand, man. I know. So pale. I wonder why. It is yeah, plastic, really. after all. That's true. <sighs> Shit. <sighs> Looks like we made it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that guy sure can laugh when he wants to. Looks like Clover and Lotus are totally out of energy. Do you blame them? Snake is shaking his head wearily. I just want to take a nap, Akane? but... Akane! Akane! Can you hear me? Akane! I want to tell her we made it. I want to tell her how good I feel. But nothing. Hmm. <laughs> The door opened. Standing in front of it was my brother. Akane! Oi! I cried his name even though my voice was almost gone from screaming, and I leapt into his arms. Oh, Aoi! <gasps> Akane! I buried my face in his chest and cried again. I cried and cried and cried. The steady thump of his heart in my ear made me feel like I was home. Its beat was almost like a lullaby. I wrapped my arms around him as far as they would go and held him as tight as I could. Just to be there felt like a miracle. I hadn't felt the warmth of another human body in what had seemed like an eternity. I just wanted to stay in, he, there in his arms forever. But I couldn't. The moment I passed through the door, my bracelets had begun to, to count down to death. I leapt away from him and looked around. The door had already closed. I spotted the dead only a short distance away. It took me only a moment to get to and scan all the bracelets. I loved the ones Hongu had dropped on the scanner panel. That was it. Good thing she, you know, thought of grabbing those bracelets. Yeah, it yeah, is a good thing. I took Otherwise, it there would have been quite a mess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, ah, oh, you almost made it. The huge detective who would call Seven in nine years and Snake, the blind boy, were looking at me. They seemed to have been utterly stunned by my sudden appearance. Their eyes were wide and their mouth hung open. How is Snake looking at you? Alright, let's get out of here. If we don't book it, we might run into Hongo again. Aoi was right. It was time we got moving. The mention of Hongo seemed to jar Seven and Snake out of their surprise and they nodded. We took off running, up the spiraling stairs, to freedom. Time for more running, but if they can get us out of here, no wonder we're running so hard. My heart's beating so hard I can barely hear. God, I can't wait to breathe real air again. Huh? Is Seven talking? Hey Junpei, can I ask you something? <sighs> What's up? That door, the one with the nine on it. Why'd it open? Yeah, all five of us verified our numbers on the red. Two plus four plus five plus seven plus eight is twenty-six. That makes our digital root eight. I like how they, you know, blurred her boobs because that was the jiggle physics they went with. It's it it's should have opened. <laughs> <laughs> That's not like you, Lotus. I thought you would have figured it out already. Huh? Why? Because you were the person who taught me about the idea of bases. Bases? Yeah. What are the two numbers in base two? Zero and one. How about base ten? That goes from zero to nine, right? Then how about base sixteen? Zero through F. After nine, it starts at A and goes from there. B, C, D, etc. You're right. 
In other words, A in base 16 is 10 in base 10. B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, and so on. Yeah, fuck all of that. So what about it? You don't get it? What if we keep going with that pattern? What if you go way past base 16 all the way to base 27? Base 27? Yeah. Well, the numerical digits are the same, so I guess you'd add alphabetical digits. E is 14, F is 15, G is 16. H is 17, I is 18, J is 19. K is 20, L is 21, M is 22. N is 23, O is 24, P is 25. Man, I wish I had their stamina. Yeah, right? And mm -hmm. Right? What after that? Uh, I forget, you know. Oh, Q. 26. And what does that mean? It wasn't a nine on the door. It was a Q. A fucking lowercase Q. <laughs> yep, that's pretty much it. Oh, that's so mean. That was... <laughs> you could say that it was a nine in base 10, but a Q in base 27. Time for more running. God, my thighs are killing me. I swear any moment now I'm gonna tear a muscle. I feel like every single cell of my body is dying for air. Damn, every breath I take is a chore now. I feel like my lungs are gonna burst. Maybe just a short rest. No, can't stop. Won't stop. Don't have time. Oh, we're all the way to the bottom of the ship. Yep. Come on, legs. There can't be any more. There can't be many more of these steps left. Let's run, run like a bullet down a rifled barrel. But you're spinning. Though. I was gonna say that's a spin, like a tornado cutting through a sea of cloud. That's also spinning. Well, I mean, if you think about it, a rifled barrel does have a curve, does have that spiral. Yep. Oh, you're right. But then you're spinning on yourself, not moving in a circular pattern. And this is clearly a set of circular stairs. I feel like we're running along the back of a giant coil dragon. See, that? I like that one better. Same. Indeed. Finally. They're good seeking time. <sighs> Man, that was a crazy porn set we just got out of. I was gonna say, that was a crazy orgy. <laughs> uh, uh, Single brain cell, everyone. Yep. Yet again. Uh, the bird's uh, hair brain cell, indeed. Jesus, I can barely breathe. No, Junpei, no time to rest. Pull yourself together, you're almost there. Right. I'm gonna open it. Uh, so if I remember right, the trickery with the number 9 door and the letter Q door make more s makes more sense in Japanese since they make the same sound. Oh, ah. that's an interesting little oh, bit of information. Oh, it's true, because 9 yep. in Japanese is pronounced as Q. Well, huh. it's pronounced as Ku. Well, yeah, Ku. Sorry, so, my friend yeah. Tacton kicked in there. Right? We... All right, I'm yeah. going to open it. Yes, we're finally here. Please do. Sure, you look like a big heavy door, but you're the only thing standing between me and my freedom. Oh, look, it's Abel, like, you know, swearing his revenge upon a door again. Yeah. <laughs> but even more important than that, you're the only thing standing between me and Ankane. You're gonna open, then. You're gonna open now. I felt a hand on my shoulder. It was Aoi's. He gave it a small reassuring squeeze. I was so happy I felt like I could melt. My heart was at peace. And not only because my brother and I were back together again. Thanks to that huge detective, all nine of us who had been kidnapped were finally able to escape from that gigantic. On the distant horizon, we could see the faint outline of the ship as it sank. It gave a thunderous roar as it finally slipped beneath the waves. Its last cry echoed out across the ocean, and then it was gone. It's over. Why is Seven one of the people with the fucking paddle? Because he's probably one of the bigger kids. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fair. His physical ability might outweigh... Fair. He doesn't need to see to row. It's true that he only needs to go to the timing. <laughs> <laughs> that's harder than you think. It's over, Aoi whispered. Yeah. It was over. It was finally over. Or was it? Was it really? I'd just like to say, why do you think they use drums for, like, rowboats? It's because you row to the sound of the drum. Yeah, well, I've been on a rowboat without 
that sound. Oh yeah. So, then, uh, and the person behind me would keep hooking my paddle and slamming my thumb against the side of the boat. I almost killed a man that day. <laughs> So, so what you're telling us is that uh, rowing in ancient ships was the first rhythm game? Pretty much, yeah. except, you know, it was, um, I'd just like to say that most ships that had, you know, that were rowboats were usually driven by slaves, so it was a compulsory rhythm game. <laughs> compulsory <laughs> rhythm game. Oh, God. Oh, all right. No, that was wrong. That wasn't it at all. I was sure of it. This wasn't the end. Well, no, you're going to go on to become zero. It was only the beginning. This was only a prologue, Pro prologue to what would happen in nine years. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, if she wanted to survive, I was gonna say to assure one's survival. Mm-hmm. Can't allow one good fire. Yes, finally air. Damn, that sun is bright. I can barely see anything. I gotta admit, that doesn't look quite like. Wait. No way. They're in the building. You have a. You have got to be what? shitting me. It can't be. This is... Yep. Yep, during the... They were <laughs> the building. Because they're the transmitters. Uh, the I'm the desert. But here's the thing, though. It makes sense because in the original ship, the ship sank because she says that it all started with an explosion. Yep. Yep. So to recreate all the events, it had to be building Q. Yep. The mock experiment building. Oh my god. This whole time we were in building Q. Sure enough, that's a desert out there with mountains all around it. Hello there, son. <laughs> Boy, am I ever glad to see you. I don't think I ever been so, hap so happy to see a sunrise. Huh? Did I just hear something fall? The bracelets. Right, yep. or bracelets. I guess I've never really got a good look at the underside of one of these. Let's see what's inside you. Just a little electronic chip, like an ATM card. That's it. There's nothing else. Nothing that even looks like a detonator. There was never a detonator to begin with. Figures. Akane. Only a detonator on the people that deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I must be pretty crazy about the girl if I think I'm hearing her voice in the wind. I mean... Buddy. Oh, sorry. Uh... See the number of times you died for that girl? Hmm. Okay, I had a moment of panic. I was like, wait, there's a death counter? And then I realized, no, you can't fucking die in this game. But <laughs> uh, you did. Multiple times. Yeah, it's really. It's credit, oh. so don't worry about it. I did die. Yeah. <laughs> Mul every And every <laughs> time the, the timeline got reset, because Akane was book? like... Grab the book. Yeah. Shut up and grab the book. <laughs> Thank you. Uh. I could have just kept talking and grabbed the book. So no. Piss off. <laughs> uh, you want me to slap your burn wound? No. <laughs> uh, as an so, extra bit of lore that I will add into it here, um, every single time that you saw Akane quote unquote burning up in, in the story here with Fever, you were on the storylines where she didn't get rescued, where she didn't get the good ending. Oh, but and that she... would make her feel all messed up because she and wasn't she, well, in the past. Because she was going to be incinerated. Yep. And that's why oh. she felt hot. <laughs> oh, yep. wow. Yep. She, was, now. She, she had a bit of a Schrodinger's cat situation. So, I, I will so say that I'm, oh. I'm going to say before we do our, our round table, if you will, we should watch the post credits. Okay. Indeed. Fair yes. enough. As we get up here. It looks like it's going to happen now. Oh, yeah. Are you okay? 
Oh, come on. Uh, this is nothing. Really? Yeah. You don't look okay. It was just before the end of elementary school. Jumpy and I were sitting next to each other on a small hill looking down at the town as the sun slowly set. How does it look then? He was half serious and half joking. I thought about it for a minute first. Um, oh boy. Well, let's see. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude got beat to shit. I mean, his <laughs> knuckles are also bruised, so he also gave it to the other guy. It looks like you kissed a toad and got warts, but then they just kept growing and growing and growing. <laughs> what does that even mean? Junpei grinned and... Ow, 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 ow. See? I told you you're not okay. You're too reckless. You can't beat five eighth graders, Jumpy. <laughs> Fuck. That's crazy. Yeah, Jesus but Christ, you boy. Stand there. I mean, don't you think so? I had to do something. Look at the Nevada. Blah. Look at the Nevada desert go past. For an SUV, this thing had a pretty smooth ride. Sure was nice of someone to leave it for us outside the building. Keys in the ignition and gas in the tank. Almost like it was a present, you know? Anyway, we jumped in, and now here we are, screaming across the desert. Lotus is over there in the passenger seat. Snake and Seven and I are all squeezed into the back seat here. I still can't believe we let her drive. Oh my this god! This is so fun! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they didn't let Snake drive, at least. Yeah, really. This is so awesome! Driving is so great when there's nothing around! And there's no speed limit! Hey, uh, Clover, watch those bumps, alright? This car jumps even a little, and I think I'm gonna get crushed to death. <laughs> I, I mean, to be fair, if... Get well, I'm just gonna front up right? there. Suck if, up. if Lotus is the one driving, she hits bumps, she's blind for two seconds. <laughs> Why don't you drive, Seven? I'm a cop. I ain't gonna break the law. He doesn't have an international license! Yeah, but you could have sat in the passenger seat. Oh, hell no. There's no way I'm giving this seat up. <clears throat> and Clover? There's no need to slow down. The car Santa and June are in should be somewhere down this road ahead of us. Yeah, I saw some fresh tire tracks going out. There's no doubt about it. Then we've got to hurry if we want to catch them, don't we? Sure thing! Oh, shit. God damn it, she doesn't have to drive so fast. Man, I didn't even think a car like this could go this fast. <laughs> For sure throwing up a lot of dust. Eat my dust. Yeah, really. <laughs> it was a couple hours after we'd run into the junior high students. They'd been hiding in the bushes on... In the... In the bushes on the back of one of the hills, dread drenching a kitten in gasoline. Oh no. The moment fuck those guys. The moment we saw what they were doing, Jumpy ran up to them hey, furious. What the hell are you doing? Then he jumped on them. He quickly scooped up the kitten and tossed it to me. I caught it and ran for the police station as fast as I could. Help me! Officer, please! You have to come with me. The policeman and I headed back to the hill. All we found was Jumpy, sprawled on the ground with a face covered in big swelling lumps. You couldn't run away after you threw the kitty to me? I asked him. He stuck his tongue out through the hole in his mouth where a toot had fallen out. Yeah, I, I guess I could've... Then why didn't you? I didn't want to. I wanted to beat him up. Beat him up real good. Because of what they were doing to the kitty. Yeah, that too, but... I think they were the ones behind those murders our first semester. Remember? Oh. You mean the bunny? I was wondering because it makes it feel like she killed them. <laughs> right? But then the moment they mentioned a bunch of 8th graders, I was like, was it the 8th graders? Yeah, the bunnies. He plucked some grass from the ground and tossed it into the wind. They asked me what elementary school I was from, so I told them. And then they said they'd do the same thing to you that they did to the rabbits. I couldn't forgive them for that, so I... Hey, uh, there's still some stuff I don't get. Of course, they probably don't know any more than I like do. Like Ace. Well, I guess I should say Gintaro Hongo. Why did he create the Nonary Project? Anybody? Any ideas? <laughs> Why don't you ask him yourself? Well, yeah, I guess I could. He's still in the trunk, I assume? I was wondering <laughs> where he was. <laughs> <laughs> Clover? Roll 
roll over all the bumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. No, no, you can't answer anything he's got a concussion. Yeah, he is. Still tied up, I'm assuming, with his mouth taped shut. His eyes just look empty, no emotion. It looks like he's just given up. I wonder if he even cares what happens to him anymore. Hey, were you listening to us? Yeah, go ahead and try to pretend you weren't, you old bastard. Let's get that tape off your mouth. Come huh? on, I know you were. That Answer ripped me. skin. You could at least look at me when you talk, man. I, I only wanted to see the faces. Human faces, I thought. I thought if I could gain the ability to access the morphic okay, field that's... set, then perhaps I could see faces. That's actually pretty sad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Peering into people's minds, you could understand how they were processing the expressions of others. I mean, overkill, yes, but mm -hmm. wanting to see faces. You know what? I'm gonna equate that to the whale that was born with a defect that it sings on a different level than all the, whale the other whales. So all the other whales can't understand it, and it can't under it. No, so actually, another whale has communicated with her now. Oh, really? I yeah, she found that. a partner. Oh, that's so sweet. Aww. It's just when you're the only person, like what feels like the only person in the world lacking the one thing that everyone else has. It's pretty alienating. Mm. But what about the other three? Like, what did they have to gain from this? It's not like this made them any money. Well, one was a scientist, so it could have been pure scientific knowledge. Yeah. Um, done otherwise. The assistant, well, if it's his boss, then he's like, yes, sir, we'll do the thing, sir. And the last one, the, the one with if, the money. If something was developed from it, it could... You know, have led to a lot he was an investor. Exactly. They were, after all, part of a pharmaceutical company. So if anything can come up here with helping people, for example, by Alzheimer's, for example, this could have been big business. Yep. Yep. That's it? Yes. If you want to put it simply, but if you are looking for a more philosophical answer, I could supply that as well. You see, the human collective consciousness... And they put the tape back. I think that's enough out of you, pal. <laughs> Time for the tape to go back on. Alright, so what's your second question? You said there were some things you didn't get, didn't you? Well, somebody's Girl. a little noisy. Well, my next question doesn't really have anything to do with you two. This is for you, Seven. It's about the whole Alice thing. What's the deal with that? Well, see, nine years ago, after I escaped from the Gigantic, I kept going after Hongo on my own catch him when he finally slipped up. During the course of my investigations, I learned a lot more about the Gigantic. I also found out about Gordain and Alice. You're not really answering my question. Was there actually a girl who wouldn't melt at room temperature? <laughs> of course Hongo would fucking know the answer to that. Is that a reference to Akane surviving? I don't know. Sounds like Hongo has something to say. All right, fine, I'll let you talk, but you gotta behave. What? <laughs> Alice doesn't exist. Nine years ago, I found Alice's coffin behind the library on the bottom deck. There was nothing in it, but the root of a peculiar plant. My research determined that it was a member of the genus Madragora, of the family Solanaceae. I was able to extract a particular alkaloid from it. I used that extract to create soporin. Its creation was a tremendous boon to my firm, and we grew rapidly. That this is gonna go on forever. Tape's going back on, Hongo. Uh. The rest of my questions can wait a bit. For now, I think I'll just enjoy the ride. Hongo, by this point, will never have a mustache again. Here, uh, this is for you. What's this? This is, uh, for you, doll. Uh, his name is Junpei. Junpei pulled something out of his pocket and shoved out his arm toward me. In his hand was a doll made of yarn small enough to fit in his palm. Junpei, are you sure it's, uh, for you, doll? Huh? Uh, yeah, the, the lady at the shop said so, so th that means it's for you, right? I, uh, are you sure it's not a voodoo doll? <laughs> Wait, what? That, that's... oh man, oh man. <laughs> well, it sure looks like a voodoo doll, I mean... You do know what a voodoo doll is used for. 
right? Oh, yeah, here comes uh, I guess calling again. it Junpei isn't a very good idea then. Why are you giving me this anyway? It just seems really sudden. Uh, well, um, y you know how after June, um, we aren't gonna get to see each other too much? I mean, we're gonna be in different schools, and I just thought I'd, uh, you know, um... Oh, okay, well, how about we call it June then? Okay. Okay. So, uh, I wanted to give you this. <laughs> You sound like some sort of tribal chief in a bad movie. <laughs> uh, Oof. yes. I, head of tribe. This doll, traditional charm of tribe. <laughs> it's fitting, Chrono Trigger. So yeah, I really. Give it me. So we always together. Oh, Chumpy. Kino was really a wimp. If something bad, <laughs> then hold and pray. I go wherever you are. So here, take. I reached my hand out and picked up the doll gently. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jumpy. Before I knew it, I was crying. Tears streamed down my face and fell onto June's tiny yarn body. Oh, Jumpy. I'll never forget you, I promise. Jumpy looked straight into my eyes and said just five words. I'll never forget you, either. The sky was a beautiful crimson red as it melted down toward the horizon. The last golden rays of sunlight uh... stretched out across the city and painted themselves across the hills. We sat, bathed in the warm light of the evening, just the two of us leaning gently against one another, shoulder to shoulder. The sun set and we still didn't leave. We watched in silence as the dark darkness deepened and one by one the lights of the town began to flicker on. They really are. Yep, very cute, very wholesome. There's still one thing I don't get, God damn it, Junpei. To be honest, it's the biggest mystery as far as I'm concerned, and also the only one that's really important. It has to do with June and Akane. Nine years ago, she died in the Innocent Raider on the Gigantic. But she's still alive now as June. But how? Was it because I tapped into the Morphic Field set and saved her nine years ago? Hmm. Alright, let's say that makes some kind of insane sense. If I did that then, how do I make sense of what Seven remembers? Snake makes sense, he's mine. He couldn't have seen her body anyway. But Seven, he said he was sure he saw it. Does that mean there's some kind of historical discrepancy? Or wait, maybe that's not it at all. There's one other logical explanation. What was you told me, was what he told me the truth, Seven? You look satisfied. No, no way. He couldn't. Hey look, over there. There's somebody next to the road. Huh? What? Ah, uh, that's the mummy. Oh, hey, Alice, what up? The burning gaze of the Nevada sun pounded down on her head. The desert around her rippled with heat. Standing there on that shimmering plain was a woman, her arm out and her thumb up. It would not be long before Junpei realized who she was. Uh, um. The end. What the fuck? I mean, yes. <laughs> Hell of a cliffhanger. Uh. Don't forget your towel. That's the, like, achievement you get. What the fuck? Beautiful. Would you like to save you for you? Yeah, sure. Okay, you still get the coffin ending. Indeed. Yep. And the Akane ending. Yeah, we accidentally skipped the coffin ending. Because I did well, things you... right. You yeah. didn't skip it. You just had all the had keys. To, to I, it's funny it. that we can beat the game and we Without still have having a fucking... that square. Yep. yep. Uh, how do you feel about 999 now? I really like the plot twist. <laughs> I'm... Twists. No, don't, don't. Let, let me out. Let, let me... Let me out. Let me out. Okay, well, Paul, switch us to the transition yes. so we can have, like, a round table <laughs> conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 
I'll be honest, the post credit scene, it actually fixes the issue I've had ever since they introduced the something. Uh, Better find the scene transition with a so, cube. So I'm, I, I am, I'm curious on thoughts, feelings, speculations from you two, Keshkel and Raven. Yeah, because we're the only two that were, like, kind of blind to all of this, really. Uh-huh. Right. Um, okay, so I had, until they pointed out that Seven might have lied, um, I had an issue. The issue was that if Akane had died in uh -huh. the past, then... How the fuck? <laughs> How the f well, it's it implied that there was a multiverse thing, a multiverse time traveling information shenanigan thing going on that relied on the future existing for the past to survive and that somehow yeah. one influenced the other backwards. Yeah, that was my issue too because when you start having the two screens, you have a Kane that explores zero, explain the whole time is like a river. And it splits in two and can only flow one way. So I'm like, well, how is the future saving the past right now? Because for the whole game, you are technically playing through Akane's vision. You're only seeing what Junpei is happening in the future. Because uh... she's connected to Junpei and basically going through the different decisions and possibilities of each split river. For her. To be fair, at least she got spared the Homura treatment. And you know what? I'm okay with that. The what? Uh, Homura? Um, oh shit, what's the name of that anime? Um, oh, uh, ReZero? No, 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 not ReZero. Uh, you watched the anime I'm referring to. It's the Magical Girls Gone Wrong anime. Uh, oh, Magic Medical. Yeah, Ma Magi Madoka. Uh, yeah. Madoka the... Magica. Isn't it Puella Magi Madoka Magica? I believe so. Something like that. Anyway. Anyways. But yeah, Magical Homura... Girls Gone Wrong. Yeah, so yeah, Homura's the one who time game. travels. Yeah. And, you know, has done it so many times that she's fraying at the edges completely. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think on the DS you get a better experience because of the screen switching because obviously they didn't they should have split the screen on the pc version to still give that impression and on the vita but uh, here's where the pc does have an experience is that flow chart yes right right not having to like go through each blindly trying to find which line leads oh. you to the right information oh, oh, oh it gets worse because in the original you did not have a way to choose which chapter you're going into yeah. for the whole thing from start to well end. yeah that's what i mean you had one chance and you had to go for the good line in one go yeah yeah yeah, yeah. without yeah. knowing you were actually going towards the right decision so i'm happy that they did that in the pc because at this point that's just a waste of time yeah like i said i believe it took me about five times before i actually got through to a different branch and actually made progress. yeah i would have given up uh, i will be honest i would have probably given up now there is still unfortunately a plot hole well a a plot inconsistency that bothers me, but considering the experience as a whole was pretty good, I'm willing to. Uh, let it what's slide. the inconsistency you're thinking of? For the second nonary game that Jumpy's in to happen, mm -hmm. who organized it? Uh, who says that Jumpy's was... in the second one? Santa and the Kani organized the whole thing. Right. Well, for that to have even happened. That implies Akane surviving, but Akane only survives because the second I game think happens. it's uh you have to make the future happen yep. like it's a loop. Kind of a well, that's what I mean. It, it's it's a bit of a paradox. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy kind of thing. 
I don't disagree. It's just she's basically like she's exploring the potential futures technically as Junpei. That's what we're playing the game through. But you have to think that for her to do that, she would have had to survive for that future to even exist. But she saw the potential futures. Oh, I know. In that moment when she was in front of the puzzle. It's a very technical uh... thing that's bothering me. That's all. Yeah, it's a, you're nitpicking. Yes, I am. It's Again, pattern here. It's all about the paradox situation in this case here, or you might see, as I said, the Schrodinger's cat situation. I mean, the thing that bothers me is that mummy at the end. <laughs> <laughs> So Grandma says, I do have to point out, without spoiling, the second game sort of provides a potential other explanation to the seven, dis the seven discrepancy and disinconsistency, I think, though it doesn't spell it out for you. Yeah. See, I'm yeah. fine with games not spelling things out for me, because as you can tell right now, like, we're generally fans of kind of hunkering down and breaking down the information we're given, especially, like, post-game. But even during the game, we often took moments to like stop and go wait we need to like break this <laughs> down wait a second Indeed. did we connect two dots yeah and then mm -hmm. you know just being proven wrong <laughs> yup hey be fair i'm okay with that yeah no we it tried calling out a lot it. of things but uh Which is, i mean that's part of the fun of going through stuff like this is going but is it this no, is it this then? No, is it this? Especially me and Raven just trying to like bounce ideas off of each other. Or, because you we know, were just... going through that both blind. That that brain that single brain cell, you know, just jumping between <laughs> our heads, going like, oh boy, and there's a lot of work sense. going. Um uh... But no, I really I enjoyed all the characters, even though Ace Faith is gonna, you know, accompany me in my nightmares. Um, and he's uh, got his uh, good guy face for a very long time. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. I really hope Ace is not a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Famous Fam last words. Uh, 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 do you know how hard I had to bite my lips when you uttered those words? Very. Like, so mm. I I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this comment out there for you, Castrol. At least he didn't die. I mean, he died in a few futures. Indeed. He got burned alive because Seven brought him down with him. Multiple yeah. times. Uh, especially even during the times when uh, technically Junpei died and uh, he got away with uh, with uh, Black Lotus, he would have just reached the incinerator and be stuck And there. then die. Yeah. But we're looking at the true ending. Yeah, he, he's still alive. True. True. He, now, nah, you know, so looking at the pictures of the people in the next game, uh -huh. um, the one with the hat. We have to be more specific on that one. In the middle? Yes. See, V uh -huh. gets me. All right. Blonde, How far design-wise, I'm interested in that character. And uh, the woman in the upper right. Oh, the you, mummy. The, the characters. <laughs> I mean, I almost said mummy, but the I... next game are great. Hell, the characters in all three games are great. Well, I mean, probably. I don't know what the bunny has to do with anything, <laughs> but apparently. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's a thing. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. it's, it's gonna be absolute. Look, I'm really looking forward to the next game, as I said earlier. It's ah, yes, going the to usual be... look forward to it. Please look forward to it, yes. <laughs> oh, God, that's been a while. To, to which, you know, uh, it was 6 30. I was trying to figure out the, you know, Bayonetta uh, soundtrack mod, and Raven was like, hey, I know this is out of, like, nowhere, but. Do you want to do a roulette? And I was just like... I mean, I want to. You, you're you finally approaching Final Fantasy with, like... It's been months. But I just looked at him and was like, We're streaming in half an hour, you... You dumbass! 
<laughs> oh no, look, I was not. You, do you know what and for then, me? And then V says, like, look forward to it, and I'm like thrown back into Final Fantasy. <laughs> Well, I mean, and you know, the funny thing is I just canceled my subscription because I haven't played it for two months. What damn it. Uh, <laughs> See, the thing me. is, like, look, I'm going to be real, people, okay? Like, I needed time away from the game because... Well, if we just Andy... finished a Shadowbringer main story bit. Well, it, it's... You, like, could have kept going, obviously. But... I'm at the dungeon! No, no, as in, if it wasn't for me, you could have kept going. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But for me, every now and again, I need a break because, and guess what? ADD explains my problem. Oh, with look, I get it. Uh, so There's no, also the fact that, me. you know, my, my computer crashed and now I have to reset all my stuff in Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, yeah, you're going to have and to And I'm reset. not looking forward to that. Yeah. Keybinding. Uh, yeah, keybinding hell. Guess who's going to, so, you know, make a file and save your Yes, keybinding. now that I know that's a thing, I wish I'd known that prior to my <laughs> drive crashing. Yeah, so you're any, anyway. any other thoughts on uh, nine hours, nine persons, nine doors? I think I would have appreciated if they had l greatly less, like if uh, Lotus's design was much less sexualized. Because. For one, there's literally no explanation for it as far as I know. She even says she's not a dancer, so why was she dressed like that when she... everyone else is dressed in ways that someone yeah, would she, to... Yeah, she breaks the, like... Um, what was the word I'm looking for? The consistency of all the other character design. Right. Okay. It's exotic. Yes, does it make sense with her being a mom in a tech like field no <laughs> no not at all exactly uh... like there's it's almost as if she was that for like a sexy halloween cosplay and then that's when she got kidnapped but then if that was the case i guess she is the only one that doesn't really get a lot it's... of backstory yeah she's the only one like they poked at her kid was in the nonary game like yep. the first one but that's not even approached again. Not directly, no. She, she and they call her an old hag, minutes. and I'm sorry, but like... Uh, yeah, see, that's another thing, too. Like, they kept calling her old. But, like, the woman has no wrinkles. There's no sign of her being old, except the mm. other characters calling her old. And that really bothered me. You know, Welcome if this had been anime? more modern, I, I get a feeling you would have called her Karen. Even then, she doesn't no, fit she... it. I feel like they just put her there for fan service. Yes. Um. Yeah, I'll have to agree with that. I really... I, I, just... I like her character, don't get me wrong, but her design is just like... Really, yes. guys? The character is fine. It's just the visual aesthetic they chose, A, didn't fit, and B, like... I don't know, it felt like there was... Consistency. Yeah, because, see, if this had been a purely text game, and then they had described her, they there would have been mentioned that, you know, she looks like maybe she's in her 30s or 40s, she's like, you know, she might be a mom or something. But when you have those visuals, you the rely on the visuals. information says something else. Exactly. You're, you rely on the visuals, but the visuals aren't communicating the same thing to the player. Uh, for what it's worth, the fandom website page for Lotus lists her future age as 40, which is hardly what I call old. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, well, I'm, yeah. and I mean, I don't want to be mean, but she doesn't look 40 either. Right. Yeah, really. I, like, at best, she might be her mid-20s. And like, you have to think, okay, well... another thing that bothers me. At least 30, I would say. She has well, two okay. kids. Old enough exactly. for them to have been in the earlier games. No, no, but all I'm saying is her visual design gave me the impression that she was in her mid 20s. Yeah, like when she said she had a kid, and when you realize the kid had to have been in the non area game, you're like, I mean, you found obviously the fountain of youth. Yeah, for <laughs> one. 
Christ, I'm like seven to give an example. Okay. LLV shared something interesting there. Um, oh. I'm just going to read it. The art book mentioned the plan was for Lotus nine years ago to be having an affair with Ace. Whether or not this is still canon is unknown. It may be what Lotus refers to when she said, I had them when I was younger after, after some things happened. Although the time of this affair may have changed to about 20 years ago instead of nine years ago. Oh, okay. Still, though, like, anyways. He um, might have been trying to investigate to the, the, for the kids after all. Right. And it's, I guess there's also, there's a bit of a, a, a bias in the game in terms of how, like, Lotus is literally depicted, like, her drawing as a fairly young looking person, even though they're calling her an old woman and everything. Yet Ace, who literally has gray in his hair, is rarely talked to in a derogative manner of being an old man. So there's some major sexism going on at certain points in the game, but this is... And now, mind you, I'm assuming this is a Japanese game? Yep. Oh, oh yeah, I think that God. was the... The Q thing. So, I right. see. Okay. I, I have a an explanation for you. Mm. Throw it at me. So, uh, Lotus is a belly dancer. Or at least takes classes. Y yeah, but then she said she wasn't a dancer. Yeah, she straight think... up says in the game that she's not a dancer. What was what was the context around that? Well, uh, Junpei says you Ace look... is only 10 or... years older than Lotus, according to his page. He's 50. Interesting. Um, but I can't remember which character says it, but the character says you're dressed like a dancer. And she says, well, I'm not. Well, and I don't know if been... that's a mistranslation or something. And also, the like, great, she's she does belly dancing. Why was like was there an issue to incorporate that in the game? Did it have to be cut out due to lack of time or something? Because if that's the case, again, it's it just causes a dissonance when there's that in-game information missing that you have to go digging for outside of game, at least in my mind. No, that's and that is fair. But again, still love the game. Oh yeah, the game as a general whole was fantastic. They obviously had ideas for her, maybe it got cut because development time, but... I still liked her character. I still liked all the characters. I do not regret playing this game. Even don't fuck math. <laughs> I won't <laughs> change my stance on that the, one. The, the was... real question is, will you regret them when you're done with the second and third game? Probably, because there's probably more math. So, are you saying that math was the real villain all along? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Map is the real villain of that game. Oh no, did I say something unintentionally oh, no. accurate? <laughs> oh. As our dear friend Brent would say, look, look forward, forward to it. To it. Uh, and you know what? As is typical of V, this is fine. Hmm. This is fine. Uh... It's, ab it's, totally it's fine. fine. It's great. It's fantastic. Maybe, it's... Okay, just just run this out there. Maybe I should play the second game. Oh boy. And oh you know boy. I can suffer through the math equations and the puzzles and. Mm. Well, just, just you saying. and, and Kessler or... play together in a fashion. Right. You you can both solve the puzzles. Indeed. I mean, to be fair, I was okay. Well. Kestrel was begrudgingly allowing me to like try to figure them out as well. Uh, and me and Brian always there for pickle questions, you know. Get help. To which, uh, okay, so you just used the term. I'm gonna put it as a statement out there since I don't know if you're still with us, Grandma. Uh, pickle questions for our group means if 
so, like sometimes some of us when we're playing we like to ask questions but we don't necessarily want the answer to it we're just thinking out loud we're, we're just saying out loud the thoughts that are crossing our brain but we don't necessarily want the answer to those questions so if we do ask a question to which we do want an answer when it comes to spoilers or solutions to game stuff like that we'll preface it by saying okay i've got a pickle question and that means okay i like whoever we're addressing will now answer the question because we actually want it and you're right rhetorical question is the correct and like the the correct statement well actually no it's not because a rhetorical question is a question that does not have an answer like how many roads does a man have to travel before before he can call himself a man it's a question with no actual answer but in our case there are answers to the questions we want just kind of like a bdsm safe word Oh my god, pickle is our group safe word. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it is the Why? safe word to say, I want help, I need answers. Uh, we, so we, don't have to say we, we don't have to say pickle question anymore. I have to just pickle, pickle, pickle. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Uh. <laughs> See, if... Um, Uncharted How 4 How long our first out... is gonna be? Our first what? <laughs> our first emoji, what do you expect? We still need oh, to those. Gonna, it's gonna be a pickle. pickle. Oh, I'm glad you got the just oh. grandma. Now, I would like to say, I feel like if um, Uncharted 4 had existed when the like the original creator of the pickle question, who's someone that's not really in our group anymore, um, had created it, it wouldn't be pickle. It'd be mango. Oh boy. Uh, but still though, the the pickle question system works really well, especially when we're playing games like this, where like me and Kestrel will be like squawking questions left, right, and sideways, and so long as we don't say pickle, everyone stays mum about it. Uh, which is wow, perfect. Love yep. it. Uh. And then Polk and I just message back and forth in the background, laughing. Exactly. Snickering. I think the word you're looking for is snickering. Yes, snickering is a good word. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, I think that right. will be it for tonight, though. Yep. Right. Oh, yeah, it's definitely it. And before we close our schedules here, tomorrow... We should be returning with Mega Man X8 again, looking for progress. And it's been trickier than we we it was originally imagined. On Tuesday, Thursday, we should be back to to Mega Man Friday. Friday. On Friday. Friday. Yes. You said Saturday. My bad. My bad. I said Friday. Tuesday. Friday's what I meant. Uh, we're all hearing different things. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, this is a parallel universe. Oh uh, no. Don't listen to the also, voices. It is possible in the environment also after our regular stream, me also working on a show with Resentia doing a little uh, grudge match race. We'll be looking forward to that here. On Saturday, also, usually we're doing Lufia, but uh, this time we, it's going to be April 1st, and it, this is going to be where we're doing a little bit of a silly secret Santa night, or we're we'll gathering all the salt, so. Saturday, we'll be giving each other a special little game to play for about an hour each. Let's see uh, how yes. many people can uh, it. We're, we're going to see how upset Raven gets on Saturday. I, I, okay. like I, you know what? I have a pickle question. <laughs> uh huh. Oh boy. And you, you may choose not to answer, but I'm legit asking this and I hope I get an answer. Is it better or worse for me than Bubsy 4? I wouldn't know. Okay, oh, that's, oh, that's true, you would <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the moment, like, did you at least watch the clip of, like, me reacting to, to discovering what the fuck Bubsy 4 was? I, I, I saw, I saw the clip. Right, okay, so based on that reaction. 
of me just. Anyways, you know what? Never mind. I realize I'm going. You did not have to answer, and I think that covers that. Yeah, that's fair. That is a fair point. I um. Oh God, what am I getting with? I think I'm being too nice to Kestrel with what I've got lined up at this point. Oh yeah, you're the one choosing my game. Yes, I yeah. am. I guess, okay, this might tip my hand a little bit, but would you like to play it on a, the actual console, or would you rather an emulator? Oh, buddy. What? Yeah, yes. I asked that question. Do we have the game? Maybe. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're not making uh, me play Kingdom Hearts my, 3. My my personal opinion, always go for original console if you've got the opportunity. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Do not oh, make fun. me play Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> is that a pick, like, would you like to put that in a pickle question format? No, because okay. I trust you. <laughs> Understood. Um, famous last words. Yeah, really. Uh... Gonna love that. Gonna <laughs> love that. Alright. Look forward to it, people. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Like, who should we read off and So, I, I guess also since we're here, oh, uh, yeah. just to confirm what we're doing next Monday, are we going to do Bayonetta or are you gonna do the next? Oh, yeah, we're, we're doing uh, Bayonetta. I'll, I'll still poke to see if I can figure out the like uh, soundtrack mod. Yeah, and uh, I'll orders. keep you guys updated. Please okay, because if you figure that out, are you going to go for the second game then, or just play without music? Playing without music is like eating cereal without milk, and V, you're not allowed to comment on that. <laughs> or me neither. <laughs> yeah, but you do use milk with cereal. Yeah, but v the least doesn't. amount. <laughs> right? Which is what oh, we're trying boy. to do with the mod. God, no. Shut yeah, up. I just, I just find that funny, because I eat cereal without milk. <laughs> That's why I said you weren't allowed to comment. <laughs> there was a reason. As per usual. Yes, but uh... the, our viewers may not know that, so... I mean, fair point. I want to go to bed, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> All right. Tell me about right. yourself to read at point. Uh, oh, I don't care. Just go. Do it. Hit us. I mean, hit Kestrel. No. Um. How about we hit no one? No one. Boring. Here, uh, give me a second, Polk. Let me. I have um, in my cool game where I know it's doing Golden Sun the last E. Well, here I've. Hold on, I'm getting. I'll send you a link. I went random. That person I sent you a link for is currently playing 999. Hi! Oh, wow. All right, I'll send him that way then. We can have more fun too. All right, there we go. And otherwise, good night, everybody. Until next time. Good, good night. night, and we'll see you tomorrow. to joy, Junpei thought. The joy of being alive.